channel. Rax is about to face an onslaught like he's never felt before. Ah, Marty, stop the video for a minute. I got a deal for you. One moment, Sarax. Because you and I both know, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you and I both know that all this shit that you're doing, it, it needs to stop, man. It needs to stop. It's old. It's played. Sorry, it's, what happened to the hold on, hold on, hold on, Marty. I got a deal. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to put you back trade. You don't listen. What happened to the tough guy earlier tonight? He was talking about. Uh, oh, take you, you, you want to know what happened to him? He decided to smarten up and play your little game. Because see, Marty. I can play your little game too. I just choose not to. See, I've got a deal for you. One that I know that you don't want to refuse. You see, it's me you're after. For what reason? I don't know. Quite frankly, I don't give a shit. But you don't know or don't but, care. But like, like, like you, I'm a business guy and I'm willing to work out a deal with you that I don't think you'll be able to refuse. See, you and I both know. You and I hold on. You and I both know that my beats are golden. You and I both know. Oh my God, Cyrax! I don't care about your beats. You haven't made any money with them, Cyrax. How much is you? Because of you. Because of you, Marty. You're the reason why. You're the reason why. And you want to know why? How much money do you ever need, Marty? The okay. shit you do, it needs to stop, dude. Time to listen, Cyrax. How much money have you made from your beats? You're you're gonna listen to me, Marty. No, I'm not Cyrax. Yes, you are, you little bitch ass not. nigga. You're a fucking faggot that needs to die. You're okay. a pussy ass coward, a little fuck boy who needs to leave me and my family and my girlfriend alone. What about we have done we have done nothing to you. you what, what, is, what, what is what is it about me that makes you want to attack me so badly after I have apologized for everything I have done to you. I don't get it. What well, makes you have that right? Because right? right? you don't, dude. You can watch well, yeah, why are you Why are you so infatuated with me, bro? Why are you so you infatuated with what I do? Watch your scheme from, er from earlier together. Oh, I've seen that. I've seen it already, dude. You don't need to show it to me again. I've seen it, bro. Your own stream? You many times over. I saw it already, dude. I've you seen, seen it earlier, stream. dude. But, but Marty, really what know. I don't understand yeah. is why is it that when my own family and my own girlfriend, including myself, 
including New Deity, has all told you to leave. I don't care about New Deity. She's a fucking whack job, Cyrex. Here's what's going to happen tonight, Cyrex. You, you're so concerned with your family. Now, listen, listen, listen. Here's Cyrex. what's going to happen, Marty. Oh, sorry. Here's what's going to happen. Cyrex, here's You're going to leave me alone. Here's what's going to happen, Cyrex. You're so concerned with your family, so I'm going to introduce you to your father. I think you're going to find out that you have a lot in common with him. You like to sneak up from behind on people and rape them, like Billy. Hey, Marty, here's the thing. What I don't understand is why is it that you can never seem to leave me alone? I don't well, get it. Well, what about well, why is it that you can't just leave me alone and let me live my own life in peace away from you? I don't right, get so it. You were threatening me again earlier tonight. The, the reason why, the reason why, Marty, is because you bring this all on. You're just a narcissist, like Marty. You're you're what's known as a narcissist. You seem to think the blame's on. Sorry, Rex, you're just not getting it. And there he goes. There he goes. Um, of course, I was interested to hear what he had to say. But uh, as he was rambling on and on about his family and how much it meant to him, uh, tonight's going to be a very special show, uh, both for all of us, who I'm sure are highly interested, but also for Chance, because he's going to meet his father, who we will refer to as RMS at this point. Um, a lot like Chance, he uh, raped a minor. He uh, ambushed a 14-year-old girl uh, whose initials were KS. And he uh, came up behind her and ambushed her in a bike path and forced her off the road and threatened her life and raped her. Now, granted, uh, Chance isn't quite as aggressive as Rup. Well, you know, I'm not going to say his full name at this point. Um, but, uh, yeah, you, you guys are going to get to meet Cyrax's father with us. Now, I'm not saying that I am going to be able to get him on a panel or anything like that, but I have his full arrest details, and he was convicted of statutory rape, he uh, uh, kidnapping, uh, like first first degree sexual assault. Uh, it's pretty grisly. I mean, it's not. Um, I would say that the Billy thing is fairly benign. So I, I guess that he has that going for him. Um, can we see a mugshot? You will not close close. But what you'll hear is Sally say the man's name. And it is so distinctive, and he hails from the same area that Cyrax is from. And, you know, there's no doubt that it's him. Um, it's, it's completely uh, distinct and uh, individual. Um, but, yeah, it's amazing. Cyrax comes on here. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Marty, you know those beats? I got those beats, man, and they're golden. He, he, He's never made any money from them. I don't, I don't know why he thought that would be some sort of a poll. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I'm not sure about that. Um, uh, at least we know where Cyrus gets this crazy from. Um, that is legitimate. So what do you guys want to get into first? Because we have a treasure trove of hacked correspondence, of hacked phone calls. We have uh, just like a handful of days ago, um, uh, Tange finally got a new VPN and got her stuff figured out. So we're unfortunately no longer, we no longer have access to their lines of communication, um, unfortunately. But we figured with, with that being resolved and them having figured it out, um, we might as well start evaluating some of the calls that we have. And, I mean, there's so many of them that it's, 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 it's going to take time to dig through them. But um, the one with tonight uh, with Sally is... 
an absolute gem because it shows what a piece of shit Chance Wilkins really is. Yeah, well, you know, go for it. I, I wouldn't mind. Uh, it, you can, you can. Uh, this channel getting canceled or removed is just part of the game. It's expected. You know, that's. I don't do it to to become PewDiePie. You know what I mean? Um, this little midget has just uh, really rubbed me the wrong way, and he keeps keeps going at it. I mean, earlier tonight we saw him. You know, outright arrogant. Oh, so he's he's live right now. Um, time to end these games, Marty. Uh, you know, and here's a problem. I don't know what you guys think I should do here. Should I just uh, proceed forward with a Sally call? Because in that call, uh, and, and I see like 100 people here, but honestly, truly, uh, the one viewer I care about is Cyrax, and he's not watching right now. So it's a little uh, disheartening. You know, it's a little frustrating, but I'll, I'll power through it. I'll, I'll stay here with you guys. Uh, uh, where was I? Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how to proceed. I mean, we have a great call with Sally that she calls him like a fucking bum. She tells Tandri not to invest in him. She uh, gives out Chance's real father's name and his backstory. And it's just a, uh, it's a gold mine. It is an absolute goal. And scoring this was, I can't tell you how much uh, joy I put on my face when I looked in the hacked calls folder um, that uh, Tyler and Y was able to uh, obtain. And, uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of them in there. We're going to have to dig through it for the most part. I mean, um, I don't think either one of us was really actively following them because we didn't think that it would work, but obviously it did, and uh, thankfully so. Uh, nevertheless, um, Sally has a complete lack of belief in, in her own son, and, and how could she? Um, there are times, and uh, you should be forewarned here, there are times we will sort of feel bad for Sally, but I guarantee you, and I promise you, in some of the uh, data that I've evaluated and, and given a, a listening that she is not a good woman. She is a terrible woman. Um, she is the, the scum of Akron, you know, um, she's a true Wilkins or uh, I guess her last name was Smith. Her maiden name was a Smith. Um, but, uh, you know, I can't, I just can't help it. I gotta see what he, I gotta, I gotta see what, he, what this little bastard's doing over here. Enough of the game, he says. Time to end these games. All right, well. Oh, I guess he's hacked again. Nice work, Tyler. His live is done. Yep. Tyler and Y just uh, messaged me and said it's just fucking down. Um, it seems like she's uh, finally realizing what a little prick he is and um, his actions are inexcusable. And he is just truly a chip off of the old block. Um, the spawn of Satan. Um, you know, his mother and his father are both R words of a different kind. Um, one rhymes with the guard and the other, you know, is figure it out. Do the math. I, I, I can't solve it all for you. Um, so there goes Cyrax, just, just already fucking giving it up. Um, so what do you want to do? Do you want to get into uh, Pence's dad, or do you want to get into, uh, you know, we'll get into the Sally call, and Again, you know, we were we were just uh, experimenting with the hacking software, and so we were only able to get it mid call. But I think pretty much this will uh, speak for itself. Um, take cover. The storm is here. Yeah, and it's, 
Uh, Mr. Schmeck, okay, here, 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 here. Let me send it to you. One second here. Okay, here, one moment. Um, here, give me one second here, because... Uh, Mm. Okay. Oh, thank you, Mr. Schmeckel. Uh, Mr. Schmeckel? Uh, good day, Marty. Good day. Um, you, uh, you got your raincoat on tonight? Um, you know what? I can't believe... What would you do with those dog shit beats if he gave them to you? Because I know I wouldn't rap on them. I don't know what you'd do with them, but... Uh, uh, um, I don't know. I, he's never made a dime with them. He thinks that they're golden, Isa. I think he said that they were golden. <laughs> Marty, let me make you a deal. No, man. Fuck that shit. Uh, no. He's talking about this is old. You don't need to bring it up. Then why does he keep... I'm sorry to even say it myself, but why does he even keep bringing up Jamie? That's old. I mean, it's not, but it is. You know what I mean? He needs yeah, to yeah. I would up. agree. I would agree. Um, um, but yeah. yeah. Absolutely zero regard uh, for Cyrax at this point. You know? I don't blame um, you. Um... Top service, George. Uh, I remember that guy from uh, a certain time period. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, I guess just dive right into the uh, the Sally calls. Anymore. The one time that he did, the judge told him if he ever touched me or anybody living in the house or anybody anymore that he would wind up back in jail. Oh, and he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to go to jail. He said that was the, the one day, one night. You can hear Sally already laughing at him and his one day experience in jail being, a, you know, a cakewalk. Mm. <coughs> oh, yeah, I did say, what did he do, Sally? Did you really go for you? Uh, it's going to be like an actual, very interesting social experiment. Meeting Chance Wilkins' father with Chance. Sorry, I'll, what did he do? Did he tr try strangling you? Yeah, he tried to strangle me. And like, uh, my other son that passed away, he called the cops. Yeah. And I didn't press charge. I mean, I'm not the one that pressed charges, but they had, to, they had to take him, so. Yeah, it's out of your house. <laughs> Isn't it once you do like a, a I'm here. Okay, yeah, I couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear you. No, no, I'm 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 just trying to be quiet to to hear the call and be respectful. Oh, sure, sure, my bad. Uh, fuck. What did you do? Um yeah, and you know what I should probably make this available somewhere, right? After I would say after the stream maybe. Yeah, right, right, right. Who did he str try strangling you? Yeah, he tried to strangle me, and my, uh, my other son that passed away, he called the cops. Um, you can just imagine Bill flapping about, you know. Uh, he's probably like, he's probably screaming, you know. Oh, my, my brother's strangling my grandma. Can y'all please send some hell? This you is know, I just, I, Rose. You know what I'm better that I just play it through? I mean, it's a long call. Um and there's a lot of like, uh, well, RMS stuff to get into. Um, I mean, yeah, if you, you, you know, know. is deserving of commentary because there's so much stuff here, you know, that's explained Cyrax. Yeah. Um, there's a lot to get into. Yeah. So, I mean, sorry if you want to hear me talk, or if you don't want to hear me talk, and, and, you know, uh, I'll make an unadulterated one and you can wait. Uh, I didn't press charge. I mean, I'm not the one to press charges, but they had to, they had to take him, so. Yeah, it's out of your hands, isn't it? Once you do like a, a domestic violence um, thing, that you yeah. charge without the uh, victim <clears throat> victim wanting to okay. go ahead. The thing with Heather, he didn't. He was not attacking her. She had him locked in a room and wouldn't let him out. No, I don't know if you know this, but uh, earlier in his live streams today, he was saying that he was going to sue me for causing him to make holes in his wall. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, that he's going to get, like, I guess a, a whole lawyer to, uh, 
to, to come what, out. You know, what, would, that, would that technically be like vandalism or destruction of private property? I guess would be the charge, but if I mean, of course, uh, if you know, if you don't physically do it, I don't know how you could be, you know, charged with that. So, um, there are the only torts I can think of would be intentional infliction of emotional distress. Maybe an accessory. Uh, I don't know. You know, <laughs> I, I, I I couldn't tell you. Um, hmm. but you know, at the same time. I guess Cyrax uh, comes out here threatening you, waving a gun. I would imagine that that suit would be tossed out uh, pretty quickly. So there's really not much that he can do, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> which, which is, it's tough. But again, he's brought this on himself constantly. He, 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 was, he was his usual tough guy, like, hey, Marty, you think... You know, uh, for one, like he's like, we all know you had something to do with Jamie's death, fuck boy. You know, like, oh, uh, Jesus. Yeah, like, uh, you Throwing know. Throwing fuel onto the fire at that point, I mean. Right, 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 right. And uh, saying that her and Sean Snipes were going to murder me, which if that was the case, then um, I guess I literally dodged a bullet, but I don't mm -hmm. think that was the case. Um, I don't know if he believes that. I don't know if people. Uh, it, you know, I thought when he came up for the deal, I was almost for certain say he was going to like get off a of YouTube or something. But when no, he offered no, you the fucking God. beats, man, it, it it just floored me. I'm like, are you <laughs> fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> hey, Marty, I'll give you the ocarina that I threw for the wall. I mean, come on, like, why would? Oh, oh you know those beats are gold, Marty. Oh, I I do. I mean, I would like an ocarina, especially yeah. dances, but uh. With his DNA on it as well. True, true. Well, not the kind that the people out in the audience are thinking. I'm thinking more of saliva. Um, but, you know, there's probably other DNA on there as well. Um, yeah. Um, I actually, I, I guarantee you I found uh, the condition that, that Cyrax has. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, the, the other kid. Okay. Um, I guarantee it's unmistakable. And, you know, I don't know how people will really uh, – feel about this and I'm not sure what I can really do with it. Cause like, unfortunately, and it is like a medical picture you can find it on Google, but it's a picture of like a three year old kid's dick. Oh Jesus. Uh, but, but I guarantee it's the same condition to a T. Uh, you know, I guess, I guess like, you know, you, I, I'll, now I'm time to get a uh, uh, juggalo canceled or whatever the fuck it is, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm going to post it. And, uh, and, Oh man. Uh, you tell me that this is not, the exact same thing, <coughs> and a and a and a kid's able to get it. It's a it's from a bed bug bite on his dick. Oh, that you know what that was brought up to me before. Oh, yikes, dude! It's called it's got to be a uh, hundred percent. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean that does make sense. He he has bed bugs in his house. Um, hmm. It'll take me a second again. Uh, yikes! Any kind of bite on your dick, but. But yeah, Ugh. Here, one second. They need to get an exterminator in the house, man. What the fuck? Yeah, um, it's, it's without a doubt. Uh, I, I probably spent maybe, uh, um, over the course of a, a, a few days. <laughs> Probably about an hour, uh, just scouring infected penises. Jesus you know, which, which I'm embarrassed to admit, but it got it, it really did pique my curiosity. And this was over a five day period, you know. So dedicated man, a few minutes here. I mean, you spent at least uh, 15, would you say? I spent some time looking. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I've spent some time trying to figure out what it's just a uh, it's like one of the like 10, nine, well, I guess it'd be like the 10th wonder of the world, you know, there's just it's just fucking crazy. YouTube, if you're watching, this just proves that we are legitimate penis experts, and please take away my strike uh, on the other channel because um, it's it's kind of messed up. Um, but uh, okay, so where's my own stream here? Because I have it on my phone. Uh, if you want to post it in the uh, uh, private chat here, I can put well, it. In yeah, I just put it in the main one. It's a, it's it's. A, well, yeah, I was gonna say I can post it for you in the main one. That's where I, that's where I was going with it. Oh, um, but yeah, you got it. There you go. There you go, man. Um, and and for amazingly, Cyrex's fungal penis is is still up because it is like a scientific thing. Um, 
Yeah. It's it's, like, it, did you click it, Schleckel? Uh, you know, I, I really don't want to, but you know what? I, I'm going to join a lot of the people in the chat and be brave. Yeah, I don't want to look at it either, you know. Uh, oh, wow. It's uh, the same thing. It's just the same thing. It is very similar. Um, it is very similar. Wow. Um, do you think that's what the doctor diagnosed it as? Um, it's, called, what? it's called summer penile syndrome. It's It can come from bed bug bites or chiggers. Hmm. It looks exactly the same. Yeah, it does. It, 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 so. it, 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 that's it. And GGL, oh my God, that's it. Yeah, I know you spent some time pe Summer penile in the wintertime. Only Cyrex. Only Cyrex. Oh, wow. I don't, you know, and I, I want to give credit to um, the person who found it. But they are also a, a penis doctor, but they're not. It's like they're they're they not, yeah, of course, respectable, yes. you know. Yeah. Um, it all adds up. Oh God. Hundred percent. It yeah. is the same thing. Damn, dude, that's fucked. Um. So that's fucked. He, he won million percent. Uh, you know what? That'll give him like some. That's some hood shit right there. You're getting a bug bite on your dick, like that's some. Sh that's some hood shit. Like it's the wrong kind of hood shit, but that's like some hood shit. Bed bug. Like what type of? Hmm. I mean, how do you even get bed bugs? Is that from filth? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've never had them. I've I've known people, one or two people, who've gotten them from like having people over their house, and then the next thing they know, oh, I got bed bugs. What type of nasty bitches are you laying with? Uh, I would like to see Cyrex. You know how he became Scarface when the dog bit him on the face? Well, what would this name be? I'm not sure. I'll leave that to uh, more creative people than I. Summer sausage? Henry Lane is a good damn job. He shouldn't move. Why is he living with roaches and bed bugs? Well, he's got it made. He's got everything he wants. He's just fine with his life. He's on top of the world. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. He's doing great. He's never been beaten a rap battle. He got a plaque that he uses to smash the bed bugs with for rap. Um, yeah. He's doing great. I mean, honestly, if any of you actually do care about chance, and I'm not saying that I do, but this environment is crazy. It's not. <coughs> it's not a stable environment. You know, it's, it's, He's covered in sores. He's got bed bug bites biting his dick, and, and neither of them take it seriously. Yeah, they're not doing anything about it, so you can't feel bad. Like, this could have been prevented. Uh, you know, How long is, was it ago when the bread bug bite... Oh, Jesus Christ. The bed bug bite picture was brought to uh, Enlighten. Remember the one with the circle around him, like on his arm and shit, or his, shoulder, you know, his chest? It's been a little while. It's been a while, and this, this is, they've been letting this fester and fester, and now... It's literally, well, no pun intended, but it's literally come to bite them in the dick. It, it's it's something you really should jump on, take care of with that mouse, too. That's not healthy. They just let it run around for fucking weeks. It's like, grossly malnourished. Yeah, man. You know, Sally, you'll get the, the vibe that Sally cares about Chance, but just look at the conditions that he's in. Neither of them are taking this seriously. Uh, he was supposed to go see a urologist. Never even went. <clears throat> He went to a general practitioner. That's what you also came to that. <coughs> yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so uh, a lot, lot, so much to unpack here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I know. I mean, we could see that. Uh, Heather, Heather will sit there and tell you that's not true, but it is true. I was here. <laughs> Sally, I've no. Heather, um, yeah. I, I, I don't believe a word she says. I think she's a horrible person. Oh, she is. She's nasty. Um, I think that uh, having another child when she's lost to to the social services is absolutely um, just out of order, out of order completely. Yeah. Uh, do, do you... Oh, shit. So, uh, it seems that Cyrax's whole lawyer has, has manifested. Or I'd like to speak with you. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. Well, I would say email. Uh, you know, musicbizbardi at bloodshotrecords dot com would probably be the best way to get a hold of him right now, considering he's a busy man. Um. 
Well, th- thank you, Michael Cat. <laughs> yeah, when when you went for you then, when he when he choked you out, was that- very 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 busy because I've looking into a uh, a, a countersuit by a whole lawyer of my own. Is that about it was what happened? Why did you do that? <clears throat> I'm sorry. When when Chance attacked <clears throat> you, what? Why did you do it? You know what that tells me is that she's been attacked so many times that she can't even remember. She's just lost track, yeah. Yeah, like they all blur together. Wow. And truthfully, if Cyrax gets this enraged over essentially the same thing that he does to others, then maybe he needs to reflect a little bit. Agreed. Maybe he needs to reflect a little bit. Earlier, he was like taunting me. You know, he was like this big loudmouth, and uh, uh, he well, he went on this like hour and ten minute like comedy zinger thing, which I actually kind of uh, enjoyed uh, most of, to be honest. Um, but he, you know, he, I, I've been pretty clear with him. You know, uh, there's there's one thing I don't like him talking about. Does it constantly? Um, you know. Uh, it's 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 it is what it is. Remember, I've, I've got bad memory right now. I'm 69 years old. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. I, I've got bad memory, and it was probably because I took something away from him at that time, or you know. Listen to that. Um, she he struck her so many times over taking away toys, uh, little playthings of his, that he, he's lost it on her, and it seemed to be like a recurring theme here. Yeah, she she didn't even seem like she wanted to press her charges when she was talking about the first time. She's like, you know, it was out of my hands. They 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 press charges. I you know, it seems like she didn't even want to press the charges. Like she's like just completely scared of the guy. Yeah. Um, the vibe that I get is that she uses Ed as muscle. Yeah, like protection, like protection. a barrier. Protection for sure. No, I, I I definitely get that. I can't blame her. Yeah, no, just like, a, just a woman. Like, yeah, just as like I guess. Um, like a bodyguard, because if he was like muscle, he'd be going out uh, after Juggalo John. Agreed. And I don't think he was there, was he? Uh, no, he wasn't. He mm-hmm. dodged him. Good for him. Yeah. I don't really remember what it was. Now, if my son was still alive here, he could tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Is, um, I think it was just because he was like the said. It was about a, a girl that you got involved with, a girlfriend or something. Oh, 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 yes. He was, he was going with this crazy girl from Kansas. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he was upset about something, and he said he was going to go there. <laughs> and it was in the middle of the winter, and he had no way to get there, and he said he would walk. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, and I took all of his clothes and everything and lost you. <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah. Oh, well, hang on a second here. Uh, I what it was. Now, if my other son was still alive here, he could tell you. <laughs> it was, um, I think it was just because I think Chance had said it was about a, a girl that you got involved with, a girlfriend or something. Oh, 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 yes. He was, <laughs> he was going with this crazy girl from Kansas. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Well, hmm. what was that broad we were calling? Uh, from the center, tonic center. What was that bitch's name? Oh, Marianne. Yeah, that's was he? Was that, was that, was that was after in Kansas? Was it at Marianne? Uh, it was. It was. No, I, yeah, I can imagine a uh, chance trying attempting to walk to Kansas from you, Ohio. You, you know what I got for John Golf because he's good buddies with Tonic. Uh, you know, Tonic can thank you for this. Uh, well, you know, let's give him one, an opportunity. Uh, one more com- comment, and we'll reveal something about Tonic. Ooh. Because Marty got sorry to give her an abortion, for sure. Um, <coughs> oh, do I want Tonic to come on here and beg? No, I don't really care about Tonic, to be honest. No. Yeah, no. Well, right, 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 right. Fuck up the flow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he- 
he was upset about something, and he said he was going to go there. <laughs> and it was in the middle of the winter, and he had no way to get there. And he said he would walk. Oh my God! <laughs> and I took all of his clothes and everything and locked him up in the basement. <laughs> That's what happened. You took his clothes. I took everything he had and walked it up the basement so he couldn't take anything with him. I think that's a wonderful <laughs> idea, definitely. Um, does he, <laughs> is there any chance that he can learn to drive? Yeah, how about, how about Cyrax walking to Kansas? He'd never make it. I don't think he'd make it out of Ohio. It just shows that he has like no concept of where things are. No. Really, yes. Um, It'd be like Nortonburg. He'd walk like five blocks and then be like, you know what? Fuck this. And then <laughs> turn around and go back home. Sounds like something like a, a, a five year old. A kid would do, right? Just go around the block a couple times and then he would go home and then no one would realize that he was even gone and ran away. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, there are uh, parts of this, you know, where I remember at one point actually feeling bad for Joe. <laughs> um, but like the more I've looked into it and the more I've listened to, uh, and uh, I guess like the more um, I, I've processed, Sally is her own worst enemy and she has created this monster 100%. Oh, yeah. She's coddled him and babied him and, you know. Yeah. From what I've the, seen. From the bite him in the dick. From what I've seen in her interactions with. Virtually everyone in her life, she is always the victim, you know, uh, despite often being responsible, uh, much like Cyrax. Well, I was going to say, I was going to say, at least we know where he gets it from now, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, it definitely runs in the family. Um, yeah, I'm sure Ed's just like trapped in the middle of them, you know, when they have their fights and no one can do wrong. Uh, yeah, poor guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I really think that this family needs a wake-up call because Cyrax's penis is about to fall off, and God knows what's going to happen to him when she. Not to be a, a ridiculous question, but can a child get taken away of a guardian at like thirty years old? Could like they take chance away from uh, Sally, like, uh, like <laughs> adult welfare services or something like that? Is that a thing? Well, I, you know. I, I'm not sure how that works. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, it's, it, I'm not sure it's bad enough. I guess like his penis nearly falling off, I would hope would get somebody's attention. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, though, I don't think he's necessarily disabled. Right. Yeah. I just didn't know how that. Yeah. That's. Yeah. I don't know how that would all work. I truly don't think that he's disabled in any capacity, but um, <laughs> maybe. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you'd call him. Uh, I was gonna, I was going to use a word, but I think it's strongly prohibited on YouTube. Sure, sure. Um, I mean, what do you, what do you do if your penis falls off? Do you like put it in a glass of milk and go to the doctor? Oh wait, that's your tooth. Never. That's like if a tooth falls out. Uh, you put it in milk. Yeah, if a tooth falls out, you put it in milk and go to the dentist. Why do you put it in milk? Uh, I don't know. All the calcium or something oh, in the milk that's... will help it stay strong and stay alive. Huh. That's, that's um, legitimate. But uh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Put it in like a uh, like a pickle jar or something and rush to the hospital. I think we're getting sidetracked here, Mario. I, I say we keep going. All right. I we keep going. have no interest in it. No interest in driving. I don't think. Really, I'm sure he could. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's just not going to be able to talk into it, maybe. Wow. Huh. I have yeah. no interest in it. Hang on. And he would walk. Oh, my God. <laughs> And I took all of his clothes and everything and locked it up in the basement. <laughs> That's what happened. Okay. He took his clothes. I took everything he... I mean, you know, like, you got to let Chance fall on his face. You know, if he wants to uh, walk to Kansas... Yeah. Then maybe, like, let him call you from a payphone, like, uh, <laughs> you know, five miles away. I mean... Take in mind as well, this is the middle of uh, February. Uh, and it was February 14th, actually, Valentine's Day. And, you know, it's in the, in the Midwest. It's fucking cold. It's definitely not going to be uh, above, like, 30 degrees. It's definitely going to be a cold one. Okay. You know Oregon Trail? I, I mean, oh, I, yeah, like, I yeah. wish there was, 
you know, if anyone has any like primitive development skills, can you please like a, like make like a midget trail, <laughs> you know, of chance traversing Westbrook. Akron, Akron, Kansas City, Kansas. Yeah, and like the little encounters that you might, and the decisions that you might well, have. He, to yeah, and then he can get like uh, he can get like what's that called? Not desolate, but oh man, I can't think of the name of it. it begins with a D, like that old ass disease, and then he can get oh, like dysentery. 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 Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you get like dysentery in the game, and yeah, you know, all types yeah. of crazy shit can happen to him. Yeah, like a homeless guy tries to uh, knife you. Like you just give him your, your <coughs> yeah. Your Trucker or, offers you a ride. You either have to give him a hand job or you have to fight him. Yeah, yeah. You know, with some shit like that, some encounters like that. Oh my god, that'd be pretty good. Oh, without a doubt. Um, he did walk up the basement, so he couldn't take anything with him. I think that's a wonderful idea, definitely. Um, does he, <laughs> is there any chance that he can learn to drive? <clears throat> he has no interest. I mean, the professional eraser mm -hmm. is afraid to drive in real life. I mean, it makes sense. But I mean, there, there are consequences when you crash in real life. True, true. Big ones. Um, that's fair. I mean, S Sally says she he has no interest in driving, but I feel that day he wanted to walk to Kansas that he would have an interest in driving. Hmm. I don't know if it's because he steals so much uh, on, on a regular basis that mm -hmm. she was worried that he might steal her car one day. Uh, I wouldn't put it past him, you know. I really wouldn't. Um, but yeah, uh, Chance Wilkins scared scared to drive. I, believe, yeah. I don't really. I'm sure he could, but he has no interest in it. Uh, well, somebody else talked into it, maybe. Wow. Well, I just wanted to know because obviously it would make life easier if he could get to Michigan himself. A lot easier, and I, if I was. Sir X's significant other, which is something I've been working towards for a while now. I would be kind of, I guess, embarrassed and uh, kind of underwhelmed that he won't learn to drive to come and see you. It's not that hard. I believe Sally's deterred him through his life uh, because she knows about his anger issues and, you know, and his safety. So I, I kind of feel that she's kind of deterred him as well. She hasn't really encouraged him or pushed him. Uh, so. Hmm. Yeah. Just a thought. Yeah. Oh, we have no problem driving three hours. I know, Sally, but, you know, he's 30 years old. You shouldn't have to do it for him. Well, that's true. That's true. That's one thing that but, needs to change. And, and I, I love him. I think he's an awesome person. But he's 30, not 17. I think he... Be honest with you, I think he needs to get out of here and see what it's like to be out. You know, I agree. Yeah. Um. How about that. Yeah. Sally wants you out of the house, Chance. Uh, she wants you to get a job and taste the real world uh, instead of just hiding in the house. If you are watching, again, Sally wants you to get out of the house, get a job, and become part of the world. Um, yeah, it's to expect this woman to pay, you know, $10,000 for a big boy steering wheel that like makes you shift around because they're too scared to drive. That's pathetic. Yeah. She probably pays that for him at like food a year, at least, you know, yeah. not to mention all the utilities and shit. He doesn't contribute. <coughs> Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Yeah, he eats that in the hot pockets every year. Ten thousand? Uh, let's say they're usually like two dollars a pack, so that's about you know five thousand hot pockets. Um, you, you know, it, it, sort of the sludge. The coffee's expensive, you know, so I would say between coffee and hot pockets, easily, uh, you know, ten thousand consumed well, in a year. If I were a betting man, which I am, I would. Uh, Wager the chances on food stamps. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs>
No, no, I totally understand. Um, I just don't want, I, I mean, one day I do want children, but I just don't want an adult child on my hands, you know, when some people, some, it happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, bear with me one moment. One second. Tangerine seems pretty reasonable. I mean, I would, I don't blame her, you know, I wouldn't want to have. This guy running around my fucking house, just playing video games all day, having to clean up after him, screaming at fucking Marty at all hours of the, you know, all hours of the day. I, don't, I can't blame her on that one. Uh, again, guys, I'm trying to find the female version of Cyrex. Anyone in chat out there uh, <laughs> ever find them, please let me or Marty know. I was posting the Discord. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, no one them. really quite compares. Um, no, I was digging that chick though. You were talking. Uh, you showed us the other night though. I was digging her, the blonde girl. Yeah, but she's, uh, she's smartened up. She wisened up, and uh, was able to come out of her delusions. Good. You know, I don't know what it takes to get there. I really don't. Oh man. Um, you gotta feel bad for Sally at some point. To be fair. At some point. Their men go from their mother's house to their wife, and the wife ends up mothering them. And I just don't, you know, it's not something I'm interested in. And I keep telling him, you know, come on, you've got to, you've got to make something work. You've got to make money. Right. Um, well, you know, maybe if he moved to Michigan, you know, you would go out and get a job, and he sure won't get one for me. Well, oh, man, that'd be great. Oh man, that'd be great. That'd be great. I'd love to just go into like a fucking yogurt place or something and see him behind the counter. Hey, how can I help you? I'm like, oh, that'd be Here's awesome. Thing, Grandma, I do have a job. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Great. YouTuber. Yeah. YouTuber as well. Musician. It just Artist. doesn't do anything, but that's all because of Music Biz Marty. It's all Marty's fault. Yeah. He can't move. There's no way that I'd let him um, do that. He'd have to have a job first. Um, and he's, he's yeah. determined to make this music thing work. Now, do you think it will? Because he's, he's asking me you to... You guys are for Margaret Tonic. Dude, what the fuck do you think, dude? You're, uh, you're, you know, if you like Tonic, you're a faggot, in my opinion. Yeah, it's just it's it's like, yeah uh, uh, you know, it's really just the way it is. Um, yeah. Yeah. He's going to scold you for, for coming in here, honestly. Yeah. I, guarantee you, I guarantee you later he's going to scold you. I guarantee it. You might as well just be watching the Bender Boys. Mm -hmm. Right. Wait, wait and see. No, no. He said you got something like fifty thousand dollars. No, I got what what I said to him was I got quite a lot actually. Uh, my dad was very successful in his uh, business, um, and I, I, I inherited. Um, yeah, this is this is this is how much the guy knows about me. Short, fat Jew. All right. John Golf, the Marty I'll expert. I'll just say that. Mods, you know what to do. I said to Chance. Take care of my light work. <laughs> the music. Yeah, oh, the shit, 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 shit. Oh, it's man. Wait, 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 wait. Can we do it, well? can we do it like a fictional you know, cyber style? Castle. I wish I could. I don't have my soundboard, man. I'm no, on, no, no. Not no, on no, my no. computer. I'm on my old ass computer. Mods, you see this, Jabroni? You see this guy? He, 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 you know, take care of him and don't be nice about it. Wonderful. Show him the door. Computer. Have you seen him dude, do that? Dude, rewind it. Yeah. Um, and the asshole in his determined to make this music thing work. You know, um, I guess like this was around the time that his big album debut came out. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think it's possible that Tanj really bought into that. And Kale's hype. And uh, Now, do you think it will? Because he's, he's asking me to invest quite a lot of money in it. That's why I'm telling you to wait. 
Oh wow! Wait, wait, see, what do you what do you think about that? What do you think about that? Truth hurts. You know, I would imagine that he's going to blame me if anything happens to that fucking thing of his. But uh, it seems that Sally doesn't think he should have it, or he's not worth investing in, or that he's just overall a fucking idiot. Yeah, I would. I, I wouldn't blame her. She's been seeing him struggle at this for like eleven years. I mean, who in their right mind? Like no what? offense to the Tangerine Kid, I guess. Um, um, no offense to her, but who would? Who in their right mind would invest in fucking Cyrex? I mean, you have to be deranged. Oh uh, yeah. Outright out of your mind. Yeah. He said you got something like fifty thousand dollars. No, I got what. What I said to him was, I got quite a lot actually. <laughs> Dad was very successful in his uh, business um, and I, I, I inherited um, hundreds of thousands I'll just say that and I said, yeah. to, I said to Chance that if he really thought the music would work and he's, other, he's, he's determined to become an e-racer as well which you know racing cars on the computer <laughs> have you seen him do that Oh, yeah. shit. Um, uh, I don't think <laughs> that's hang why on, I hang on one second here. That he doesn't um, want Schmeckel. Yep. Uh, I, I'm not sure where I put my lighter here. You're gonna have to entertain these lovely people. Ah, right, yeah, no problem, guy. Yeah, no problem. Nine. Give me your overall. Oh, you know, as far as this call goes so far, from what we've learned, Celia has enabled chance from driving. Uh, she doesn't believe in his music career, which I can't blame him. The guy literally thinks he never lost a rap battle, but he, he's pretty much lost uh, every fucking rap battle that he's entered, uh, clearly. But uh, uh, the whole family's a bit delusional, it seems like. Uh, I mean, she, she's right to try and uh, hesitate or, you know, try to... Uh, try to deter chance uh from tangerine from uh <laughs> investing in the guy i mean i would as well it's like basically like investing in uh i don't know uh the trump wall at this point uh it's just pointless um uh, the, the guy literally just needs to wake up and actually try and get a job calm himself down a little bit take some anger management classes enter the real world before it's just too late he's gonna sit in that fucking house and not even live life i mean I mean, he's got a skullet, but he doesn't have any gray hairs because he has no stress. He has to deal with Marty, and all he has to do is just turn Marty off and not respond to him. But yet, he continues to. And again, he had the goal to offer Marty some goddamn beats tonight, uh, which I don't know what Marty would do with them because they're complete dog shit. Um, maybe sell them. Uh, I, I have no idea, but uh, the call's very interesting so far. Sally definitely does not seem very faithful in her son. Our grandson, um, Bill, was a snitch. He called the cops instead of just getting Cyrax off of Sally like a real man. He had to call the police and let her get choked out probably for about two, three minutes while the police got there like a little bitch. Um, so Bill's definitely a bitch on that one. Um, I'm going to bring up the, uh, the, the YouTube chat here. Um, but, uh, yeah, Bill's just a bitch. Uh, point proven. Um, let's see here. Comments. There we go. Um, I got you guys now. <clears throat> I think blah, 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 blah. Fort says Marty, maybe. You yes, know. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. No, you're good. I'm just reading, catching up on some of the chat here. Right. Yeah, it's really sad here. Uh, uh you know, Sally. Definitely doesn't have faith in her grandson, as she shouldn't. She's seen him fall flat on his face for 11 years straight. Even with these albums coming out, she still doesn't have the confidence that he'll do anything with his music. Am I admitting to committing a federal offense? Yeah, they can investigate me for hacking all they want. That is perfectly fine. To drive in real life? Well, you don't get hurt that way. Is that what it is? He's scared of it. Yes. Yes. Oof. I'm muting up for a second. Oof. Um, 
There you have it. Well, you don't get hurt that way. Is that what it is? He's scared of it. Yes. Well, you're not necessarily scared of him. Well, you don't get hurt. That he doesn't want to drive in real life. <laughs> well, you don't get hurt that way. Is that what it is? He's scared of it. Yes. Well, he's not necessarily scared of himself, but he's scared of other people. He's seen other accidents around him. Yeah. Hmm. Um, pretty pitiful. Uh, he's always said, wiretapping phone calls is up to 10 years in prison. Nobody's that stupid to publicly admit it. Uh, I wasn't the one who obtained these phone calls. And at the time, I was in a... Don't forget about the two-party state law. There's a right. two-party right. state law. Some people don't forget about that as well. One-party state as well, so... Correct, correct. And at the time, you know, and all this would have to be proven um i i wish listen the, the the akron fbi office has been after me for a long time i'm a familiar face over there they've been plotting and planning against me for years see yeah All right yeah and he just has no interest in it i mean i don't have no interest in teaching him i try to teach my own I hacked them from Tange. I did not hack them from Tange. Somebody else obtained them, possibly illicitly, and forwarded them on to me. Oh, sorry, he almost killed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the detective over here. Good, good luck with your investigation. I said I would never teach anybody again. <laughs> I don't blame you, especially when we see him driving on the computer. He's um, he has a lot of crashes on that. So yeah, I think sometimes he does that on purpose, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry he's going through all that. But it's not really like Tyler and Y with his computer skills. He has so much potential to do something good, uh, but all he wants to do is hack and hack and hack, and you know. If anything, Cyrax shouldn't talk to him about getting raped by Big Bubba. He should tell him about applying to do something legitimate with it and helpful and uh, beneficial and benevolent. But hackers gonna hack you. Really, you know? Yeah. Well, it's you know, it's something that we've had pro actually personal talks about, um, and and that those are his exact words. Hackers gonna hack. Exactly. Um. But he's, he's determined that um, he's going to make a living out of this e-racing and the music. And I'm frightened that it's something that... He, he said he's been going if at Cam it for said them years. that it is legal, I would... Honestly, I would love to throw Tanger under the bus for these calls. Um, but it, it is also equally legal, for me anyways... If Tyler NY or one of his hacking buddies, who he will definitely blame for this, I'm sure, conveniently, if ever found or questioned, which will never happen because he's the most evasive and elusive hacker, uh, arguably of the 21st century, at least the young one. Uh, I know that he was voted uh, hacking's brightest stars uh, two of the last three years. He had uh, an off year in, in 2019, but... You know, but nevertheless, it was, it was he, he's back with a vengeance. You know, he's 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 he's, he's out to regain his crown. As is it going to happen? Yeah. Is it going to happen? Well, people people like Marty keep interfering. Well, I've told him that hey, I can. Hey, Lydia, start really? Now. I'll tell you this: if you don't watch it, you're about to get hacked too. So watch it, Buster. He's not, I think he's a bit um, intimidated by Marty because I think when he's spoken to him, he's, he's tied him up in knots. He's quite a clever guy. Uh, I've spoken to him briefly and he didn't, he, he backed off. I'm sorry. I'm probably missing things here. Uh, people people have questions here. I, mean, I want to make sure that I address them all. I just got back to my thoughts. Good. It is, he's scared of crashes okay. on that, so. Yeah, I think he does that on purpose. And the okay. music. 
um, site. Yeah, people, people are launching these elaborate uh, investigations. Oh, cool. cool, you're on a Tor browser. Well, again, I am not the hacker. So I'll, I'll, I'll see what Tyler and I can do with you. But I, w I would tread carefully. And that it's something that, like you said, he's been going at it for 11 years. Is it going to happen? Yeah. Is it going to happen? Uh, people, people like Marty keep interfering. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? She's sticking up for her, her. Come on. Yeah, like she really I, thinks that's I, the problem. I ruined Soul Census. Jesus Christ! I ruined his big album. If it wasn't for me, he'd be making millions of dollars. Right. She's got him convinced of that now. Just absolutely deranged. The both of them. They're two peas in the same pod, and and when you start looking at the pod, it's going to get pretty. Dark. Cold as well. Yeah. Well, I've told him that I can sort him out. He's not. I think he's a bit um, intimidated by Marty because I think when he's spoken to him, he's he's tied him up in knots. He's quite a clever guy. Uh, I've spoken to him briefly, and he <laughs> he, he, he backed off. I'm sorry. I didn't understand that. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I, ha I have spoken to Marty before and he wasn't, he, he didn't tie me up in knots like he does with Chance. He, do you see, you know, what I'm, do you know what I mean? He doesn't, he's, he's quiet. He mixes Chance up and makes him panic. You know, I've offered to speak with Sally, I've asked to. Um, I think that maybe that could be helpful and patch things up in some oh. sort of way. Somebody in the chat says, I think Sally was being sarcastic. I do not believe that Sally was being sarcastic when she said Marty has gotten in the way. I do not believe she was sarcastic uh, when she said Marty uh, has caused Chance not to uh, make the millions of dollars. I think she believes that. <laughs> well, I mean... But he's never made an income. No, I know that because of you. That's what she's saying. It, it, because you've held him back. Remember, she said that you've held him back, and 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 someone said that they thought she was being sarcastic. And that's I'm saying I, I disagree with that. She's not being sarcastic. She does believe, you know, she. That's why she lets. Why do you think sometimes when he's just like I'm confronting Marty, she just lets it go on. She doesn't fucking cut the internet right away. She just like supports it. Instead of just shutting it down. Yeah, I see Carrie ask, let me talk to her. I would be better. Well, I don't think Sally would be adding anyone on Discord after the hackings have been unveiled. Yeah, not anytime soon. No, I think I think like a, a lot of people, she may have realized that A, the app is vulnerable, but also that it's not always the best place in the world. No. No. Especially at the Wilkins residence when penis pics have been leaked um, a multitude of times and put up on the internet in uh, various places. From, uh, from what I from what I've observed, she did seem to have a lot of pleasant interactions with um, Tanj, who, well, I was going to almost say uh, her first name uh, starts with an S chance and just make you sweat a little bit there. Um, but uh, nevertheless, um, they did seem to have pleasant interactions, but I can only imagine that, y you know, your conversations about your grandson being a complete piece of shit, being unearthed, knowing that he's such a, a loose cannon and a wild card, you know, you wouldn't want to risk your security uh, or, or be vulnerable to cyber attacks uh, by the hands of Tyler and Y at all. So. Chief. I'm not someone understanding you. I'm, I'm oh, sorry. It's okay. I'll tell you what. Um, I'll do basically what it is is that you're right. Marty is a bad person. Oh, he is. He's horrible. And I. <laughs> did, 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 did tell you? Oh man. Oh boy. He's gonna. He's gonna blame. She's gonna blame me for all this. It wasn't all me. Who was doing this, by the way? And I 
Did she I tell, did she tell you that he had people attacking me? <laughs> Physically. <laughs> yeah, people, not one person. Uh, on the, no, I, I didn't know. Call that. me, call me all day, all night long. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, he is. He's horrible. And I... Did she tell you that he has had people attacking me? <laughs> Physically? No. No. Oh, on the f no. I, I didn't know. Call me. Call me all day, all night long. Yeah, no, I like that Lady really is saying that uh, I'm going to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. He really <laughs> countless death threats against me. He's waved his gun around. Um, saying that he's going to kick my teeth down my throat. He's defamed me. You know, you don't think that any prosecution or a civil litigator will look at all this and be like, eh, this is kind of dicey. You know, like this seems to be a two-way street. We're not here to resolve people being childish on the internet. All right. There would definitely be a countersuit. Well, like, what, who, who, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you know, arguably... You could make an argument if your understanding of material facts was accurate, which it is not, that certain infractions may have been committed. But is anyone really going to want to bring the case when, when nobody really cares? It's not like a public interest. Um, it, it resolving this would accomplish nothing. Like you're, you sound deranged and deluded if you think that's – yeah. Cyrax offered Marty stolen beats tonight. I mean that right there is a crime. Right, right. He was trying to hornswoggle me once again. And he was, you know, whatever, dude. You're, you're out of your mind. Nasty things. Um, out of your mind. There's one thing that has happened that I didn't tell a chance about. I don't want him to know because I don't want him to flip out. Yeah. Do you know, you know the thing about the rope? Yes. They started sending it to me, too. <laughs> oh, no. How many of you? Yeah. You, you, can, hear, you can hear uh, Sarah uh, Tanja's... Uh, Audible gasp here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the thing about the rope? Yes. They started sending it to me too. <gasps> <laughs> How many have you had? Chance had uh, three of them sent to him. Two or three sent to him. I've had one sent to me so far. Uh, this must be an old call. Because I know, in, in fact, that they got more rope than that in their house right now. Oh, uh, about about two weeks ago. I don't, I don't want him to know because he'll flip out. Yeah, I will. That's you're right. I, I will try and find that video where he's waving the gun about. I was so frightened. Yeah, well, he he can't. You know what? Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I uh, I uploaded a video. I I then unlisted it. Just a little bit of a, uh, a a preview of what's ahead here. A very, 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 very oh, wow. poorly edited video here. Um, uh, just just something for chance here, and uh, you guys can you can listen. Oh, Ed got a rope. No, I don't think Ed got any rope yet. Sorry. Oh yeah, you can listen to this, and you can do your googling on the side here. But this is this is it's not at all fun and games tonight, and I understand this is kind of a bit like a uh, a Roman Coliseum, and people want blood. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm gonna give you a little uh, sample here. I've got a box of oh wow. Let me. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna play it here. Uh, let, let's meet Chance's dad together really fast, and you'll hear her say his name. I don't know how long hereafter. Um, but uh, so let me then just. Uh, Fuck. Um, Do you want more? One second. Okay. Um, and it's got to be harsh to realize the worst about somebody that created you. And oh, Ed, Ed hasn't got rope yet. Understood. <clears throat> Uh, well, actually, Ed has gotten a lot of rope, and I've every single time have received a thank you note. Huh. Every single time, he's a, he's a he's a sweet guy. 
He seems like it. Hold on one second here, very briefly. And this is just the highest of quality uh, video edits here. You know, it's just really, uh, you could tell that I put a lot of time and effort into it. It definitely was parting my uh, prison life. It definitely was. Now take a look at that. You'll, you'll take a look at that really fast here. Um, Right. You can actually, you can, you'll have to go back and we're talking about people pausing it, you know. Yeah, well, Rupal, Rupal Mark Smith, you'll hear Sally say that name at some point soon. Okay. You know, the music's a little douchey. Uh, uh, Essentially, well, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later. You know, I, I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, I'm, no, I'm, I'm all, gonna jump ahead. All over the place. No, it's just these people keep attacking him, and I can help with that. It's not going to worry me. Sally, I know he's a good person, um, and I wouldn't be interested in anyone that I didn't think was, you know, a suitable uh, boyfriend, I, I wouldn't do that. I'm not stupid. Right. Um, right. And I don't think, sometimes I don't think he's used to someone who will, because I won't take any of his bullshit. If he's doing something, I don't agree. You know, and I would say that because she lacks what Sally has, mm -hmm. that they would make a, a good couple. Yeah. Uh, granted, I don't really like Cyrax and you know, I don't want him to be happy, but truthfully, I, I do think they'd be happy together. Yeah, so like kind of push him to be a better person. That's what she seems like she's trying to do. Yeah, and she seems kind of, I guess, more logical, whereas he is the artist who's creative, you know, and uh, yeah, I could see that. Anyways, I'll tell him. But, you know, I obviously can't have chance happy you know he's just too much of a shithead and he just doesn't learn his lesson he's got to learn somehow i'm sorry see that's what he needs no. balls don't do that exactly exactly ace, ace faz don't do that stop that ace faz stop yeah. that ace faz yeah like is that people get like flagged for that or something no i just don't do that huh? yeah that's that's pretty uh, that's like adrian like come on yeah Get it together. Get it together. Uh, oh, I don't. Man. Right, right, right. right. People. I mean, it, it, I don't know. Supposedly been with. You know, I hope he doesn't come back one. and throw like a fit like the last time. You know, when he thought like I didn't see his because I just don't pay attention to the chat sometimes. You know. Uh, no, I get that. Uh, and he threw like a fit. I've actually lived here, but they don't. They were nothing. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's Adrian. Adrian, dude, Adrian. Adrian. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired of people complaining that you're doing strange things. Um, Is he at it again? What do you think? <laughs> he is a McKinney. Uh, you know, I guess it's like people that I, I uh, if I've known somebody for a while and I've dealt with them for a while, like I can't help but... Uh, not always, but uh, they, you know they have to do something to annoy me, and I don't think that this like really oh, yeah. qualifies as, as anything like that. But he's constantly posting, posting poop, <laughs> just endless poop, <laughs> and like he's sexually harassing women in, in the DM. Oh, hey, Jerry, leave that to the streets, man. Don't bring that to the Discord. Like, save that for the streets. I'm doing nothing so far, though. So you haven't been sexually harassing women in the DM, <laughs> really, Adrian? Let's be honest here, man. If you're not even aware of it, then it's a problem. And then it's a problem, Adrian. It's an ongoing problem. Hey, Adrian, fess up here. You know, uh, like you're lying to me. If you're not, either you're not aware of it or uh, uh, it continues to happen. And, you know, so, so I don't know, but it's people are getting uncomfortable. I'll quit this time, I promise. You know, Adrian. We've heard that the old rhyme before. Adrian, you need to stop focusing on all the poop and harassment and get some goddamn banjo tunes out for Bloodshot Records or 
I mean, I don't know about Marty, but I've met my quota. You need to get on the ball. Uh, you know, stop them fingers from typing and get them on that goddamn banjo and produce some some hits. I guess I guess I've, I'm, I'm becoming Sardax as far as uh, uh well, I, I think oh, come I, on, no. I think I've blocked two. I think I've blocked two people, and I, I, yeah, I come on. I feel I feel bad about it. Uh, with 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 Spaz, uh, anyone who rides with Comic is a fucking queer, in my opinion. Um, you know, that's just my opinion. Uh, you know, you can watch whatever you want; it really doesn't. But if you genuinely enjoy Comic, and yeah. artists, like you are a fucking retard. Um, Unless I go on the panel to do something, I can't stomach the guy for more than like like five minutes. I, I can't leave the stream on. It's not something I can really get into. It's always the same. No, old. no, no, no. There's some. There's somebody before Spaz. Uh, you know, just just the the N word like typing chat. Like that's dude. That's come on. You know, you're call for, man. There's no need to do all yeah. that. Yeah. Well, you're 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 better. Than that. I'm not saying like as far as like racial sensitivity. But I'm, it's, no. It's, yeah. It's, yeah oh. Like you know, you don't need to blast that into the chat. Yeah, people like to, to make comments and uh, and post it to one another. Uh, Spaz, the last time I gave you a link, you came on here like 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 like, like and, and then you know you got like kind of I'm not gonna get into like what happened after because you know it's just just be in your best behavior, people. Be in your best behavior. Link, 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 link. No links for crybabies. <laughs> Let's get back to this call here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're allowed to get in here. Yeah. Sorry. I no, I no, we're good. We're good. You, you sound like about the best person that's ever come along for him or ever will. Oh, thank you. I hope it does work out. I really do. I don't think that, I mean, I know that he's got a problem. No, a no, problem. you do not ride with Tonic, that golf guy, that golf guy. Get it together. You're on yeah, the, John you're on the Golf. Board. I'm telling you, I was talking about the golf guy. Yeah, I'm, like I'm not going to stop this, like to 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 make you feel better, man. I, I was talking about the golf guy. Like you're just sauced. Um, but uh, he he he's got uh, <clears throat> eczema too, and that's bothering him. I don't know if he told you about it. He's got what? Sorry. You know, <laughs> that's my skin problem. Oh, yes, I've seen it. I thought it was... Um... We still love you, Spaz. It's all good. Psoriasis <laughs> on the head. Yes. He's got... Yeah. No, this is on, this is on his arms and his back. Oh, man. You think that's with stress? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I mean, I think it's more of a stress thing. Yeah. Because he hasn't... He's not had this all of his life. He just started this. How long, how long do you think he's had it? Oh, man. I I think in Sally's head when she says that she's is just started probably like five five ten years. Um, yeah, a couple months ago. Hmm. A couple months ago. I guess it's stress related. He's been scratching at that fucking head for like a year or so ever since I've known him. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, does he ever wonder if like his conduct or behavior brings this upon himself? I don't think he would ever consider it. I think he thinks it's just something that happens because he is who he is. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe he should put himself in less stressful positions. I think it's stress. And you know, I never thought about that. Because I, I go to his doctor's appointments with him. Yeah. He, 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 his, doc, he, his doctors, he won't go unless I go. What? <laughs> no. Well, how would he, first off, in his defense... I mean, how would he get there? Sure, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but, like, she's, like, saying, like, she goes into the room and shit with him. Like, he won't go to the doctor unless he goes with her. I think he, she, like, goes into the room and shit with him. I would agree that that's pretty intimate or arguably invasive. But. A, a bit. I mean, I mean, depending upon what he goes for, I'd still, you know, want even a little bit of privacy if I'm stuck inside the house with Sally, even at the doctor's office. I don't want her in the fucking room with me. I would agree. Although, I guess, like, at least, and this happened before his penis started to fall off. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, I guess, like, he doesn't really listen to anyone, so it's kind of hard to know that he's telling you the facts of what well, the, the correct information yeah 
Yeah, yeah. No, I get that. That I mean that makes sense as well. Like she wants to make sure she gets everything. Yeah, because uh, otherwise, like he's. I think he just bathes in his own filth. Uh, well, it's the same way. I have to go with him, and he goes with me. That way, we know what each other's you know hearing firsthand. I mean, do you think that Chance accompanies her to the gynecologist? <laughs> like to her mammogram? Um, yeah. I would hope not. I really would. I don't think he would take the time of day to uh, have a concern with Sally, to be honest. Hmm. Well, um, nevertheless. That's a good idea, definitely, because you don't always pick up. When, when you go to the doctor's, you do it's always good to have two of you so that you, you know that you hear everything. I would agree with that, actually, as far yeah. as Sir X goes. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Right. Right. But uh, I didn't even think to, about the stress. I should have mentioned that to the doctor. <laughs> Goblin gynecologist. It does, those skin conditions um, are, can be brought on by stress. Yeah. Do you know what Neosporin is? No. It's a, it's a cream medicine for your hands. Well, I've been putting it on his hip like penis. <laughs> no. No you way. Know, when I hear stuff like that, it made me feel bad for her. She's been putting it on his head, you guys. Like, she applies the goddamn... Yeah, I would feel bad, too. Like, what does she do? Like, call him in when she's watching TV and just, like, rub down his head like a, like a fucking crystal ball or... I would imagine so. Oh, man. Having to, like, touch that? Uh, I'm going to appear on his medical records as an online abuser. I should appear on his medical records as an online abusee. Agreed. Yeah. I mean, um, I'm not the one waving around guns at people. You know, I would imagine that, if anything, uh, his behavior would probably get him locked up or, or committed. Mm -hmm. And anything criminal, I have the right to challenge my accuser. And anything civil, Chance would have to submit to a deposition. And honestly, either one of those paths are well worth the quote-unquote trouble. I would love to see Chance sit there and have to answer questions. You know, uh, uh, and he can't just talk over people. I mean, that would be the greatest thing ever. I, I feel he would go to jail, if not for his crimes, for contempt. At least for contempt. Yep. 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 Um, it, it would... I I would think that he would have to pull down his pants in front of a judge, you know, and not possibly jury. Like, I would make him do it. Otherwise, it's not his penis. Get out of here. As he likes to say, get out of here. Maybe you know? have, like, a butthole lineup. Yeah, right. Yeah, that too. That too. Full, full thing. And um, the Cyrax fungal penis is, like, legitimate science. YouTube will not take it down because it's scientific in nature. So, I mean... What's that going to show you? I mean, yeah. It's not normal, man. I've showed it to uh, 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 quite a few people, uh, and, and no one can figure it out. Uh, some people don't even know it's a penis at first. When they look at it, they're like, what is that? Yeah, it's, uh, it's mind-boggling. Yeah, like, I don't live in an area where these sorts of things are considered... Priorities, like if you look at like the homicide rate. Oh you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as authorities go. Yeah, right. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, you know, and uh, there's no real damages here, so and chances don't have any money, so I don't think any attorney is going to, uh, you know, work for one third of uh, the holes in the walls cost. Maybe, maybe like thirty uh, Cyrex albums. For yeah. A retainer. yeah right. Right, 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 right. And to be fair as well, guys, if you're, you know, time's going to be, if now's going to be time to be accused of a crime, I guess the COVID time would be it. I've literally seen people with federal crimes just get like arraigned from their Zoom call at their house and they're still free. Uh, and a couple shooters on the street. So, yeah. Uh, you got to think, think that would be the, the, you know, best yeah, you time to get accused for a crime. So, you got to think, yeah, like you got to think it's COVID too. You, you could, appeal for your right to a speedy trial. And they're not going to want to imprison you for um, responding to somebody who has defamed you and harassed you and threatened your life. Correct. Um, you know, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I would honestly love the opportunity to depose Cyrax or uh, question him. 
you know, it would just be a, an absolute joy to see him trying to compose himself. Counter suit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Starting to clear up. That's good. Starting to clear up. That's why he wears those hats because he gets his head on like that, and then they start teasing him. So that's why he's wearing. Uh-huh. That makes sense. Believe me, guys. Believe me. When the all this is said and done, you are not going to feel bad for Sally. I promise you that. But I, I, I kind of I remember this. I remember this distinctly. Um, uh, when I heard this, uh, I was like, "Oh man, this is this is kind of fucked up." But she is a terrible. I'm not going to say evil, but she she is responsible for uh, all of her issues. Um, absolutely, without a doubt. And she's done Cyrax a tremendous disservice. She's uh, not just like, as far as his growth, like he's. She's putting him up in the attic, knowing that it's full of bed bugs and filth. No, she's coddling him. Right, 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 right. And um, I don't know. Like he, he threw he threw the ocarina through the wall and, and caused some holes. And her solution was buying him a new video game. Yeah, she's encouraging. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Okay. Sally, I'm going to try and get him to shave his head. I mean, I think he. He's not doing himself any favors by keeping the hair long at the back. <laughs> That's just my opinion. I'm sorry. I said that's just my opinion about you know his hair at the back. Uh yeah, the the, the, the hair whip game. Yeah, I, I like the picture Tyler did with the long hair. I think it actually kind of looked good. The Photoshop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, I think he does it to maintain war, William Atlanta Rose's. Uh, His memory? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Work the gang. Save it. I don't know if he would or not. That would have been an interesting look. I don't, it's just my opinion. I think men, when yeah. they start losing the hair, it, well, it was, uh, he's it bothered him ever since he turned about like seventeen or eighteen. He's been losing his hair. Oh, that's sad. Oh, I, 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 has he sent you any young, young, younger pictures of him? No, he's not. He hasn't. No. Um. I'll tell him to send a younger picture of him to you. That would be good. He was, he was so. Uh, mm. It sounds like you're saying past tense, but you know, I guess at the same time, you don't want to consider your 31 year old grandson cute. So cute. He still is, but he's so cute. <laughs> I agree, French Dose. What was that? I was uh, addressing French Dose. He's put the comment, Sally's an enabler, oh. and a few times. I agree, French Dose. For sure, for sure. He's definitely grown on, um, he's definitely impressed me. And this. I do think that uh, he would have looked absolutely amazing with a backwards comb over. Um, yeah. I was, I, oh, damn, I lost the question. So I think it said if Marty, if if Marty, if Sally kicks rocks, would you any chance he would take care of Cyrax? I think the question said I kind of lost it. Oh man! Well, he would have to shave his entire body. You know, <laughs> no lice coming. Um, <laughs> why? Because of of lice. Oh, the bad bug. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, to get the the bugs and the critters and shit. Okay, I hear you. Right. Um, and of course, I think he'd feel uncomfortable. So naturally, he'd probably want to get like a a, a hair piece. Mm-hmm. Um, there would be an approved decor and uh, outfit slash uniform necessary. Um, like a coconut bra. And uh, a grass skirt. Would you, would you just fill the like? Would you just fill your uh, domicile with like uh, sand? Just get a bunch of sand and fill it. And just turn it into your private, uh, you know, your private per, uh, island. Considering that um, none of these uh, rousers out here uh, donated to the GoFundMe. Yeah. And yeah. maybe that just the GoFundMe is broken. You know, the page is just broken. Uh, yeah, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Um, brutal, brutal uh, March March sadness all the way today. 
Um, yeah, you know what? There were some pretty big upsets. I didn't think. Yeah, there were some pretty big upsets. I uh, wasn't happy with. No, it's just been a disaster. Especially that North Texas game. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Um, like by fucking like two points. Uh, North Carolina got their dicks blown out of the water today by uh, Wisconsin. But hey, I, I go Badgers. I like that one. But uh, some pretty big upsets. Yeah, I assume you would have bet North Carolina. Uh, I would have, but you know what? I went with Jamie. Ah, I had to the Badgers, man, two to one, double up, baby. Ah, uh, there's also a f- thing. It's called what's it called? Off the top of my head, it's called something Spire. Uh, and if you bet like a team and they go over fifty, you could double up on your money as well. You double up on your bet. Uh, what's it called? It's something Spire. I have to look it up. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't know about that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of good promotions going on, though. Yeah, like some of them are just crazy. Um, yeah. Oh, like, the one on FanDuel, too. Uh, what's it? The one where you can, uh, I forget what it's called. I'd have to look at it, but you can win like a million. For It's like the upset. It's called something upset. Uh, it's like a little tournament thing they got going on. Uh, yeah, Ohio State was just the start of, 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 of my own personal storm today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fucking book guys. Yeah, I just, I just, I just, uh, I just checked the final game, you know, uh, and I guess like totally sidetracked here. Yeah. Morehead State. I, I always, you know, Morehead, you, you can't, you can't, you can't lose there, or, or so I thought. Yeah. Uh, not pretty. As soon as I knew that Duke didn't make it this year, and they, it was just a shit year for them, I knew it was just going to be a, a catastrophe for this Final Four. Um, I mean, that's an organization I absolutely hate, but they, you know, they have done me well in the past. I always, you know, I want to bet against them, but I can't. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a big shit show this year. I still yeah. like it. Don't get me wrong, but uh, not what I uh, expected or uh, hoped for. But I'm, I'm still just grateful for it. Uh, you know, we got opening days coming up here, the baseball season. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. Zzz, zzz. Oh. <coughs> you know what? You know what? Here you go. Here you go with that. See you later. There you go. Baseball. There you go. I'll, pl- I'll play the call, but screw it. The soul census. Oh my God, it's amazing. Oh yes, I know. He, he, that, like, like I said before, he never, before he graduated from school, he never <laughs> heard one word come out of his mouth like that. The day he graduated, it changed. Yeah. I'm 18 now. I can do talk, talk any way I want, and it just it exploded. Oh wow! You think the rape affected him? The what? Rape. Yeah, she doesn't even seem seemingly uh, uh, remember the rape. Hmm. Probably because it was something she wished to forget. No, he didn't. Yeah, no, he did not graduate. Just to answer the question, chant. No, no, of course not. Of course not. I was getting zzzed. I was getting zzzed. Uh, I guess she messaged you like, like in a fuss. You know, yeah, I'm not going to be zzzed. And uh, yeah, it's like a grown person shushing you. No one wants to be shushed. Right. Exactly. Everyone zzzed. Yeah. Exactly. I could see that the zzz train. So I, 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 you know, I nip the chain in the butt. You know, I have attention deficit disorder. Go, you know, I have no problem uh, saying uh, watch something else. Say that one more time. Say that one more time. Say that one more time. Do you think the rape affected him? He got raped by one of his school friends. Oh, he was bullied in school too. Yes. Yeah. No, but you said one of the matches. All right, you know, what, you know, I'll, I'll explain it. I saw in my comment section something which I believe is a lie about Cyrax. He said that like she had like this this conversation with Cyrax that caused his penis to go to the hospital, and like I just don't believe that. Like, I, yeah, no. I, I'd have to go back and look at like the thing. No. Uh. Yeah. 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 I mean, did someone would have to like scream at your fucking cock for it to make it do that. <laughs> I'd have to go back and look at it, but it was like, uh, uh, let me see here. That's absurd. What I actually did do is far meaner. I may have given a very, very painful night right before the urologist video. Well, I mean, 
I'm, I may stand corrected, but uh, 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 I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. Tim penetrated him. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he was in school. Yes, that did actually happen. He, um, he's talked about well, it. It was, it was a night we had a power outage, and well, I sent him over to his friend's house to spend the night. You know, we had no lights or anything. And he came back the next day, and that's what happened. Hmm. Oh God! I I wish I wish he'd have. Um, he told me that he got expelled after that. That the uh, the school thought that he had been the perpetrator. <laughs> no, he did not get expelled. Oh. That's what he he's thinking. He's, he's thinking. Oh, he he was never expelled. It's weird to me though. So why would he go from? Garf from north to Garfield. Yeah, you know? Probably to get him away from Billy. So we couldn't do that to Billy again, you know? I don't know, I don't know why they, you know, I, they shouldn't let him back in any school. They should have had him been homeschooled so we can just rape Bill. But Sally doesn't care about Billy. That's true. Bill doesn't care about Sally. That's why he didn't help get Chance off of him. He, he just called the police and let her get choked out until they got there. Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. Yeah, I guess, like, yeah, Bill didn't care about Cyrax, and Cyrax didn't care about Bill, considering he never uh, visited him in the uh, hospital. In the hospital, correct. Did he go to another school? They might, they, might have made, they might have made him stay home a couple of days, but they didn't expel him. Right. Oh, but he went back to that school afterwards then. He didn't go to another Oh, yeah. One. Yeah. So where does Garfield come from? Oh, the school? Yeah, where did he go? Where did he? Because you, you remember you talked about the Garfield Rams and Ram right. Cup. That's the school he, that him and Billy went to, wasn't it? They went to North. Oh, so then he transferred over to Garfield. Apparently, but Sally's saying no. Where did he go after that? Where is she saying he went after that? Um, she just—I think she's saying that he just stayed at North High. Hmm. Hmm. Sent him sexy pics right before he's supposed to go to the dock. Uh, well, all right. You know, I mean, I don't yeah, know why yeah. I'm why I'm not like uh, it's something I'd like to hear about. Who did that? He said it was. I, I guess Bella did. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, like, are there DMs or are they just pictures that everyone else has? Like, is there a, a long series of ex exchange here? Is she saying that she gave Cyrex the erection that scared the bed bug to bite uh, Cyrex? Yeah, I just don't think that's plausible. I don't, I don't, I don't fully. Uh, Bella, you can't take credit for Cyrex's uh, bed bug, penis fungal. Um, yeah, I mean, come on, that's that's. Even if you did, that's that's not going to cause, a, a, you know, that to happen. I mean, he has summer penile syndrome. He's um, he's got summer sausage. Correct, correct. Indeed. Um, so uh, I don't know. I I mean, I find it implausible. Um, I I personally don't buy it. Unless there's like a dated exchange, I personally don't buy it. North, is it North High? The school uh, name. On North High, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I think he's been through an awful lot, and I think that's, I mean, I can understand his anger. Well, uh, has he told you about his dad? He told me that he got sent to prison on the day he was born. We, we, we got to him. My ex husband and I, we adopted him, or I adopted him before I married him. But um, he has accepted, he had accepted that child. He was, oh, he was so proud of him, and then we wound up getting a divorce. And he didn't see him for a long time. He, and his dad got some messages when they didn't come to Florida to visit. And when he got there, his dad had been remarried, and this other lady was really bad, mean to him. And they threw him out of the house with just this luggage. <laughs> to go, I had to call his uh, old teacher that lived there and have him put him up in a hotel. Oh wow! And Ed and I drove up there to pick him up. 
Oh, wow. Sorry, Sally, I thought you meant his biological dad because that's your son, isn't it? He's my grandson. No, but you know his biological, oh, his biological dad, the one that went to prison. Oh, he's out now. He, he has nothing to do with him. Is that, he won't talk to him. He won't see him. Nothing. Is that your son? Yes, it's my son. He said, he did tell me that his name was Mark um, and that he had him on Facebook. <clears throat> Yeah, he did. He connected with him on Facebook, but he doesn't no more. Is he an answer then? This is where it gets very interesting, no. guys. This is where it gets very interesting. Oh. Smith. All right. Is that so? Arnson is my maiden name. Ah, okay. Sally Arnson. Yeah, Wilkins is Kansas' legal name right now. <laughs> so I'm sorry for asking this. I'm just interested. But so, did you get married to a Smith? I was married to a Smith once, a long, many, many years ago. And that's who we are three, four children, like uh, Sally Ann and then four children. Yeah, Bill, Mark, uh, Sally, and Dale Lynn. And then Marx is the one that was, went to prison. Well, he went to prison after I got the chance, but he was married to a girl that was mentally handicapped and they couldn't take care of kids. Really fast. Um, let me pull up the name of uh, Rupal Mark Smith and we can play the call and we can then listen to it. As we gander. Yeah. Rupal. Rupal Mark Smith, and I want to go back and play that when Sally says that. Um, and listen to this. This is just an incredible case. Um, the, this guy is worse than Tony as far as self-incrimination. Um, is it, Am I screen sharing here? Yep, uh, yep. You are. Uh, I don't know why it's like kind of – does that make it any better? Uh, yeah, definitely, 100%. Okay. Great. 100%. All right, for sure. Rupal Mark Smith. There you go. Is, is it Connie's mum's name? Do what? His biological mother, was she called Connie? Yes. He told me about that. I didn't know that they'd had another child, though. Yeah, they had, they had another boy. His name was, well, he was adopted. His foster parents adopted him, and they won't let us have any contact with him. Oh, no. What was his name? When he, when he was um, born, he was named after, okay, Mark is not, Mark is not his real name. That's his middle name, Rupal, R-U-P-L-E. He was named for his great-grandfather. And so, Chance's brother's brother was named after him also. Meet your father, Chance. You wanted to play yes. the games, Chance, well... It's unfortunate it has to be under these circumstances. Is it possible to bring up Connie's uh, obituary? Has that been found? Well, I'll let Cyrex stew on that and wonder. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, no, the answer is no. The answer is no. I, I, well, I guess I shouldn't, you know. Uh, yeah, let's just go with no. I would yeah. agree with that. Yeah. Ah, uh, so it was called, your son was called Rupal Smith. Yes. Got yeah. And then and then after the people adopted him, they named him William Eric, I think. Because he was just a baby when, you know, they were just babies when 
he got adopted. And everybody's always called him Buddy. Right. That that's uh, all these his oldest brothers not normally called Buddy. Yes. They're, they're not even nine months apart. Oh wow. In age. What the fuck? That that's about um Chance was born September twentieth, nineteen ninety. Buddy was born uh, well, his birthday is in November. So for one month out of the years, they're both the same age. Wow. What the fuck? Uh, what about Connie's family? That's like two months apart. From what it sounds like, they just went right back into uh, banging. Um, Jesus Christ. After, after Buddy was taken, they had chance. Yeah, you're supposed to wait like a couple months before you even you fuck after you have a kid. Thing. Do they not want Either. to know? Um, no. Every time I get a hold of his biological grandmother, she says she will call and she'll keep in touch, and she never does. And Connie passed away. She was her house got on fire, and she she burned up in the fire. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. And that happened. That happened on Chance's birthday. How about that? <laughs> 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 you think it was because of the birthday cake? Oh man, that's a theory. Like Chance only had half a lung, and they couldn't blow out the candles, so the house caught a flame. <laughs> that would be his touch on things, wouldn't it? What a birthday gift! Yeah, I don't, I don't want to like interrupt this here. Uh, nope, nope. Let's keep going. Chance has been through a lot. I know. Yeah. He's been through a lot. And people play geek mind games with him. And I just wish I could get him to go stand with the counselor and really talk. Yeah. It was, I think it was yeah. something he really Absolutely. Is that why you want. He he, Sorry. Go ahead. I'm just going to say, is that why you won't get a disability check? He's, he's, he's embarrassed. Oh, no, 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 no. That's why I told you I wanted to talk to you about that when you get here. Okay. Is that when he was little, when we lived in Florida. Well, here's the thing. Ch Chance never Florida. knew her, I don't think. Uh, oh, sh oh, shit. I don't think okay. Chance ever knew her. Is that why you won't? He... Sorry. Is that why you won't? He... Sorry. Go ahead. I'm just going to say, is that why you won't get a disability check? He's, he's, he's embarrassed. Oh, no, 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 no. That's why I told you I wanted to talk to you about that when you get here. Oh, okay. Is that when he was little, when we lived in Florida, no, when we lived in Washington State, my brother helped me get him, get him on disability. Hmm. And when we moved to Florida, which has different state laws, they, they said he didn't qualify, so they could kick him off of it. And now that... He's in another state. All the school teachers, the judge, when he went to court, everybody keeps asking him why he is on disability. I don't know how to go about doing it. Nobody will help me. Well, it's because he's not disabled. And there you go for everyone who wants to say that he is. Yeah, we've got a couple of people fighting back and forth in chat. He's not disabled. He is disabled. Snowcat, he is not disabled. Um, he is not. Uh, yeah. Um, what do you predicate that on? That, what do I predicate that he's not disabled? No, on? no. What is what is what is Snowcat predicate that he's disabled on? Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. But you can't base it on his looks. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. Maybe you. Can help. I don't know if you know about that stuff, but when you mentioned your brother, then I thought, well, maybe you can help. Okay. I just I don't know. I'm 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 computer stupid, and when it comes to going out. Uh, Legal stuff. I'm really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, I I can definitely help uh, with that. No problem. And when I come down, we'll have a look at it. Um, I'll have a look on the internet before I arrive, and then we can <laughs> start. Because I think it's only fair that um, just for your sake as well that there's an income. Because keeping a thirty year old man cannot be cheap. Believe it or not, it doesn't cost me anything. Oh. Huh. He, he, he gets his food stamps. Ah, uh, does really? he? Really? Okay. And see, so I have really kind of considered that a part of the rent. I mean, he doesn't, he, he's a very small eater. 
even when he gets mad at somebody, he's sitting at the table and he gets mad at somebody, he doesn't need it all to go He doesn't walk away and go upstairs. <laughs> I'm not. It doesn't, it doesn't bother him that I'm not eating. But he, he, doesn't, he doesn't eat a lot, you know? Maybe $200 doesn't cover everything. Well, I guess that was more than a lucky guess earlier when I said that he used that food stamps. Hey, what is that? No, not at all. Huh. You hear that? No, I do, but uh, I don't know what that is. I'll even mute up. Are you sure? Uh, uh, 100%. That's I may hear it, but it's not me. Yeah, I mean, I hear it. I thought that was like the call or something. Yeah, definitely. Every, every sign is helpful, definitely. I will... I will have a look. The, the only money that we spend on him otherwise is, is, is done through a gift, you know, like his birthday or... Yeah. Yes, when you put the ocarina through the wall. Yeah, that's how he gets his clothes and, you know. Right. Does he have any... Does he have any other medical problems I need to know about that he might not have said? Does he have any... Um, anything that... Cause he, I know that he was born with one kidney. And a lung problems. <clears throat> you know, and that's where they're saying that uh, we, we, I've not been able to get a doctor to say that there's something really wrong with him, but yet he was only born with one kidney, and yet that does affect him. Right. And so that would be one of the things that would have to go toward her trying to get him his, his disability back. Yeah. I, 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 that's why I'm asking because I think that I think it would be very remiss not to try at least because we, we're not going to yeah. lose anything we'll only gain well if you're willing to help me I'm willing to go do it yeah yes of course I have a daughter here that <laughs> hey, Lynn, she lives not, not even 10 miles away I don't even think she lives 5 miles away and I haven't seen her in months and months and months <laughs> Well, well, why? She, she, she gets this all this kind of stuff, but she won't help me. Wow. Got a kid that wants nothing to do with it. I mean, you know, so, I, I mean, what can I do? Well, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. That's that's true. You, you know, there's there's not much else you could do. Um, if if chance won't, you know, get help. From you know, what can you do? He's a grown man. Right. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna make him sit down and look at the farms and everything with me, so that he, he can't just say, "Oh, mom will deal with that." I don't want him right. to say, "Oh, Sarah will deal with that." He needs to learn. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Ed and I would both agree with you. He's, um, he's, uh, he's wasting himself. I mean, does he get on with Ed? That, what do you want? Does he, does he get on with Ed? Do him and Ed fight? Or? Oh, he, they've been in two physical fights, but that was normally he gets, and that's when he's, something has really struck him. The Ed fights back. I don't blame him. The, the, the only way it gets stopped is. I literally get in between them. Yeah. Oh, wow. Either one of them will hit me. Well, no. So. But, Sally, the thing is, it needs to get out of that house. You need your privacy with Ed. Oh, yes. <laughs> that would be so nice. Well, you know, in my whole life, in 69 years, I've never been by myself. <laughs> no, he's not. I mean, we're all grown up. I mean, Bella, if you have pictures of this uh, Cyrax thing, you know, uh, I, I just don't buy it. It's a weird uh, claim. No, yeah. I think it's about time you and Ed lived alone. <laughs> uh, you, you don't know if it's your chance to told you, but Ed is 15 years younger than me. Oh, Sally the Cougar. <laughs> Sally the You liked that, didn't she? Well, even my, though... My, my girlfriend, my girlfriend says I'm not a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like if you call Sarek's penis to explode, like there should be dated messages. Like I don't, you know, it's weird. 
that's even more reason, Sally, for him to get out of the house. If you've got a man that's 15 years younger, he needs to go. John Hayman, Ed wants to fuck her in the house without Cyrus. It most indefinitely. Six months after my oldest son was born. All right. Yeah, well, he, doesn't, he doesn't look 53, but he looks older. He's had a hard life, too. Nevertheless, he's still 15 years younger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, look at you. You can't be five years younger. He is indeed. Yeah, he's, um, he's five years younger than me. I, I really do think, though, that if he can calm his anger, I can make this work. Okay, but I'm going to reserve. Okay, when, when you talk, when you talk to him about that, you can't. I can't be around her because he's going to blame it on me. No, this is totally between us, and I am you know, it's a two-way thing. I'm saying things that I don't really want chance to hear me saying because I know right. it, it gets a complex about it. Trying to choke me. But that's why I don't bullshit him. I tell him when I think he's doing something that I disagree with. And sometimes he rages about it, like he'll just not speak to me. <clears throat> but um, I, I don't I, the way that it would work. Right. I'm not going to be... Um, I'm not stupid and I'm not going to... Play play games with him. No, well, the heart wants what no. the heart wants. He's an adult, and I feel like sometimes uh, maybe the girls he's been with before have made him feel inferior. But he needs um, like a confidence boost. <laughs> Definitely, he needs a fucking uh, antibiotics <laughs> boost. Heather too. She was nasty. Right. Did he tell you? Has he told you about her? No. I know he had a girlfriend called Heather before the other Heather, but he's not really. Um, he's not really. She, I caught her sending nasty pictures of herself to Paul Rudolph and Heather Guys on the internet that she did not know. Oh Jesus. Yeah. That's that's what broke. That's what broke them up. Can't handle that. What was it like having the other? Well, Ricky right now was just pumping his fists. I mean, she walked out on him, though. I mean, it's not like Chance kicked her out. I mean, it's like, like you know, so I, I don't find that to be true. But here's the thing, though. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. All right, all right. He, he said that I held him captive in his room and forced him to... B- bump the, the holes in the wall. Just like Heather uh, forced him, uh, held him captive in the room, forcing him to choke her. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know how you could hold him captive if you're not even physically there. Do you have like his Google, his Google Home code or something? The doors lock. Just lock the doors on him. Hmm. Uh... Shut the light yeah. out on him. I don't know. I guess I held him in, held him captive via what I'm not supposed to say. Heather, there. Mm, yeah. You living with you because I didn't really care for her. Um. Oh, this, this last Heather. Yeah. yeah. What's up, MJ? Oh, I wish I had never gone to Mississippi to pick her up. It's a long drive. Ready? Two times. Two but times from Mississippi. When we were picking her up, we were in the, I was the understanding that she was bringing her baby with her. Well, she didn't. She left the baby behind. And then she's, she's married to another girl. Ugh. And the other girl has custody of her baby. Jesus Christ. Well, another time to Mississippi to see if we could try to get the baby back. And that didn't turn out, so that was a waste, waste of time. Did you know oh, that... Besides, Heather was just horrible. She's the horrible person I've ever known. 
did she want to, did she do any of the driving when you went down there? Oh, I, w- I wouldn't let her drive my car. Right. Could she drive? Oh, yeah, she could drive. She had her driver's license. <clears throat> I, I, yeah, okay, so as far as this, like, exploding the penis thing, I guess there's no evidence of it, like, no... Uh, that sounds silly. I mean, I'm yeah. sorry, but it just sounds ridiculous. Uh, and I mean, you would think the whole situation was until you see the picture, but yeah, that claim, uh, I don't know about all that. It's definitely like some type of bed, like bug bite or some type of, it's definitely not caused by a picture. I mean, I'm sorry, but no one's that sexy. Well, no, I'm just saying that as far as some sort of interaction, like there would be some sort of trail, of it, like you, a call log, you know, message, uh, message. Yeah, yeah. For sure. The, the, uh, what do the kids say, Marty? The young, the the young gohards, uh, so receipts. There'd be right, receipts. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. This is something that I'd be interested in. Sure. And to like throw Cyrax stuff out there, you know. Yeah, that's what this channel is all about. How could you not uh, disclose this just even until now? You know what I'm saying? This is like fucking uh, Monday. This is like four days old, four or five days old. Yeah, and, and everything that I say as far as Sorry Acts is 100% legitimate and valid. For sure. Uh, the group of Mark Smith, you heard it out of Shelly's mouth. I told you that I had this for, forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, uh, uh, it was only after Tanja's VPN was adjusted and she got a new one that we were no longer able to hack her and, and really absorb the calls. Um, yeah, I- I guess that uh, whole Cash App thing kind of broke the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak. Are the VPNs back? What was that? I say, I guess the whole Cash App thing was the uh, straw that broke the VPNs back, so to speak. Uh, when yeah. the whole VPN transaction thing happened. Yeah. 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 Um, ever since then, we've no longer been able to really have access. <clears throat> my car is my car. I don't. I don't know. As far as like this Cyrus penis exploding thing, like, I, <clears throat> you know, um, people they contact me with like strange ideas sometimes, like. Okay, like, hey, Marty. Guess what? I got a, like a brilliant idea. I'm like, okay, all right. You know, You're right? Yeah. I'm gonna pretend I'm a, a firefighter, a female firefighter. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get Cyrax's penis pictures. <laughs> um, it's like that's cool, but I guess it's just been done. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like but, a million times over at this point. Yeah, for actual penis. Uh, aspiring penis experts like me and Schmuckle Cat, who have, we've both put in time researching it. Of course. Oh, Don't call me Schmuckle Cat for nothing. No, and it took like a breakthrough after just count. Yeah, I, I, I underestimate or under exaggerated. <laughs> I've been around the clock looking at. I, I mean, Marty, you were in a stream the other day where I brought it up and had people you know, like uh, curious and looking up, trying to <laughs> diagnose this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've, 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 it's, it's fucking mind boggling. I've never, inc- you know, I've never incurred that. Uh, I've never come across that in my adult life. As a, I've seen Blue Waffle, I've seen all types of crazy shit. Uh, you know, some voluntary, a lot of it involuntary, but this is something I've never come across. Um, okay. Never come across. I hate to like to, to distract myself from like Rupal Mark stuff here, but, uh, I definitely saw like a comment um, that something about like exploding Cyrax's penis. Oh, I did see that. I saw, I saw that that I did that that caught my eye as well. Um, scroll back up for that one. Yeah, let me let me find it. Um, Still trying to keep up with some of these other ones here. Oh shit! Um, one second here. Where, where even was it? Uh, One second here. So I don't want to misspeak. I may have given a very, very painful night right before the urologist visit. Like the day before? A painful night. Like you had him jerking his dick? So it seems I don't really, I I don't. Unless you like went to his house and put his like cock in a vice or did some cock and ball torture. I mean, what does that mean? I don't know. Hard night. 
What would Ken? That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Where the fuck did that even come from? I go to the channel, and it's your channel. I mean, you've commented before, unless this is like, maybe this is just a fake spell. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I can post the, uh, if you want to, I know the last couple times you said you've got like a doctor's appointment. Um, I don't know. But it's just weird to like make up. Like, you know, if you actually, how did you, how did you send him to the, you know, I'll, I'll get just, I'll just pull up the, uh, the thing here. Like, cause it's just weird. It's weird. And <coughs> I don't, I like, I, I, it struck me as like, if this, did this really happen? Like, could this, could this really happen? And, and then I was like, if it did, I'd really like to see it. Um, no, I don't know. This, like, that'd be pretty legendary. Yeah, uh, I mean, it would be, but it just kind of sounds a bit uh, implausible. I don't know. I'm not saying, I'm not, you know, saying it did or didn't, but it just sounds implausible. So how did you send him to the urologist is the question. That I, the that e, did he not go to the ER? Uh. He did. He did, yeah. I believe. He, I believe he did. Yeah. That's like That's even worse than a doctor's appointment. That's the, you know. I don't know. The urgent I care. I don't know. I wanted to believe, and I guess I was, I felt foolish for believing that it could have happened. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at on the thing. Um, Way drive it. <laughs> yeah, well, especially if she's not on the insurance. No, she's not on her insurance. Well, uh, we're, 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 the only, we're the only ones on our, our vehicle, too. Uh, as a matter of fact, my car isn't even in my name because when I bought the car, I didn't have my driver's license. Right. I had let it go. So One second. we put that car in Ed's name, and then I went down and got my driver's license. So yeah. Car is actually an S name. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I had you know I had to get hit by a bus to get that car. Oh shit! Oh, did you get what with compensation? Yeah, I got. Uh, this bitch says she got hit by a bus. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got quite a bit of money. I don't have it anymore. That's what I was gonna say. If you only had fifty thousand like, dollars, here, here's honestly how I looked at it: that if this was legitimate and true, you know, maybe this is a tickle on my end that I could use this to cause some sort of disruption between Tangent Cyrax. But... He's always know. jumping in front of... Yeah, GG Allen. Um, yeah, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, I don't know. I guess the proof is in the pudding, so to speak. Uh, but fucking Sally getting hit by a bus. This bitch says she got 60K. She ran through it. She bought a car. And I'm guessing Hot Pockets maybe paid some rent. Uh, got is changed. This not you? Like, is this not you? If there's a, a, an imposter, then maybe. like I don't even know what to believe. Hmm. You know, I don't, I don't know. Um, I love like a good Cyrax tale as much as the next guy. And to, sure, I, I don't like being like hoodwinked or hornswoggled very much. It's a, it's a, you walk. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, right, 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 right. Um, yeah, I, I get you. Fake. We're not about fake news. We ain't Fox Two, CNN. Uh, you know, we're not about the fake news over here. Yeah, I mean, would you agree, Marty? Are there PMs between? Yeah, there's got to be something. Like, what would cause that? I don't know. I mean, um, that's some pretty extreme shit to be putting a dick up in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I kind of almost want that for myself. I don't, but I do. Like, just to, just to fucking get the experience. Like, it must be amazing. But the, the consequences afterwards, like fucking a fine chick and a patch of poison ivy, you know? It's great while it's happening, but a couple hours later, and you're just going to be regretting it, taking an oatmeal bath. Yeah, I would agree. You know, uh, <clears throat> I would concur with that. Um, yeah, so you want to uh, let's dive into Rupal. Let's dive into sure, what happened. Um, 
that's a pretty good place to go. Um, Rupel Stiltskin. Yeah. Um, oh, I think that was Rumpel. It's a good name for like a pet. Rupel. Rupel! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It kind of sounds gay. Uh, just such a very distinctive name too. Rupel Marx. Rupel Marx. Kind of reminds me of like Carl, Carl Marx's brother. Well, yeah. It's spelled, spelled the exact same way. Yeah. Um... Um, <laughs> Ru- RuPaul, no, not RuPaul, GG Allen, RuPaul, <laughs> not RuPaul, <laughs> not RuPaul. No, that would be, yeah, it's <laughs> I um, get it, though. I get it. Uh, GG, uh, yeah, GG for GG, <laughs> I get it. I get it. Okay, and here's like the uh, the brilliant thing about Cyrax's dad. Um, just like shorthand uh, off of memory, um, <laughs> oh, Mark. So a 14-year-old girl was riding her bike uh, down a bike path. Oh, this is gross, yeah. Um, just uh, minding her own beeswax. Tommy Rilla. Uh, when a man, who turned out to be Rupa Mark Smith, Cyrax's father, ambushed her, and I believe he covered her head with, like, a T-shirt, if I'm remembering. Um, nevertheless, like, he forced her to walk about, like, 50 feet off of the path where he forcibly raped her. Jesus. Um, yeah, just a, a 14 year old girl, initials KS. Um, you know, yeah. eventually, uh, inevitably, he, he was charged, but led up to it is, is just so remarkable because his tale of self incrimination uh, makes Tony look like he's tight lipped. Yeah. Um, so I guess like the, the news put up like a sketch of Rupal Marks, of a guy who looked identical to him. So Rupal called up the the police and told them that, yeah, I may be identical to this guy. I may be around the area, but I have a rock solid alibi and I definitely wasn't the guy who did it. And, you know, sure enough, the police, they, yeah. they found him acting somewhat suspiciously and they looked into his alibi and it turned out to be a total and outright lie. <clears throat> um, they ended up, uh, talking to him willingly in the backseat of like a, a police cruiser. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, when all of his lies and bullshit stories went nowhere, he, he confessed to forcibly raping a 14 year old. Oh, wow. So, uh, you know, that's why you guys have the right to remain silent, you know, just, Oh uh, Jesus. It's yeah. Right on. Crazy. It's crazy. Um, um, so yeah, let me, let me see if I'm, I'm missing anything here. Uh, uh, terrible. Uh, no, this is kind of like a shitty uh, link here. Let me look for another one. Um, yeah, I guess so. During the investigation of forced rape, state troopers published an art sketch of the suspect. Uh, called the troopers and said that he looked like the sketch, but he was innocent. Oh my god. Um, we asked if they could talk to him about the incident, and he was friendly and more than willing to talk. Uh, Barnes told Smith it would be easier to talk to the patrol car. Um, I guess there was some d- debate. On uh, whether or not it was custodial and whether or not he was or he could have invoked his Fifth Amendment right. Like he voluntarily called them, mm-hmm. offered a bullshit story, and then told them, Yeah, I'd be more than happy to talk to you. Like I don't he just like offered himself up basically. Yeah, right. Like if 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 um I'd probably console a lawyer, maybe I would maybe wait and console a lawyer and then you know, if anything, it's, you know, go to the station and say, "Hey, you know, I look like this guy, but you know, it wasn't me." Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I was like, "Yeah, it wasn't me." I was at the miniature golf course all day. Like, the miniature golf course is closed. <clears throat> you know, and then I guess they ended up uh, tracking like his bike tires. You know, like there's just so so much uh, evidence. amount of evidence. It's like not even whether or not he yeah. did. Um, he he admitted to it. So I mean, Sarex can. Sally's probably going to make like some elaborate denial. Um, uh, uh, oh, two people backstage here. Let's uh, nine seven two. Uh, fat ass bogs. Well, I don't know fat ass bogs. So potential uh, porn bomb. You know. Yeah, uh, shy away from that. Uh, Mr. Marty, how are you, going on, brother? How are you, how are you? Hey, what's up, Juggalo? Man, it's been a, it's been forever since I talked to either one of y'all. How have y'all been? Oh, swell, swell, huh? swell. Uh, just battening down the hatches for the storm. I can tell. And I've been a 
Oh my god! Like I've been watching this and I've been listening to this on my spare time, off and on too. Especially when I'm in between uh, uh, while I'm at work. Mm-hmm. I've got to tell y'all, man, it amazes me how somebody so spoiled can sit there and lie and make up such stories about <laughs> such losers of grandeur. It's um, incredible. Yeah, yeah I, I, I agree. Uh, and everything he does is stolen. Like everything bottom is a lie. It's. Sally's got to hold him accountable at some point. Like, there's no way he wrote Soul Census. There's just no way. He's not capable. Um, he's, he's not. not. Capable. Right, right. And two. He's, he's really not, though, you know. But I'm going to put him over on one thing, though. He's got a sharp mind because one thing that he's really he's, – oh, correction. Let me rephrase it. He's got a sharp wit because, you know, he loves to be in control of everything. And when he can't be in control of it, though, he leaves. I mean, I, yeah, I, agree. I agree. That that's definitely the case. Uh, you can see it every time he's on a, a panel, you know, or any of mm-hmm. one of his links. Like as soon as he's on, that's a great point. That's a very good point. That you know, it seems like even for somebody as simple as him, though, you know, he's got. He seems to have you know a certain amount of you know his uh, what's the word I'm looking for. There, there's there's a there's a certain amount of gaslighting that goes you know with somebody you know like him, because you know he's. Because you know, you know, there's a, there's a word that they say though. Even if some people who can't read will know how to write and make words out of something that any genius can ever ever really dissect. You know what I'm saying? Fair, but like as far as writing a book, uh, when he's like basically, as far as like a writer illiterate and blaming it on somebody stealing from his school and then claiming that I went to high school with him and stole the book from him. You know, right? Yeah, it's a little at that point. It's a little uh, impossible. Um, you know, I could agree with that though, and to be and to be quite honest, though, and like it, it blows my mind that you know he's because like here's the funny thing though, I'm not that much older than he is, yet, you know, because because like let's be real, you know, it takes a village, you know, to raise a boy or a girl, am I right? Um, yeah. No, because like I come look, I come from an era though, you know, where like I think you, me, and Schmuggle come from an era where, you know, like. If good grades didn't earn us anything good, then good behavior did. What blows my mind is the fact that, you know, somebody, you know, who ah, – how's the word I'm looking for? Somebody like him, you know, who can be, let's say, a charity case, if you will, mm-hmm. you know, can get the world handed to him and then not be humble about it. Mm-hmm. That blows my mind that he can sit there and think that he's on top of the world. And the fact that, you know, he's he, – because, like, when you don't leave – if, if you don't leave a solitary space for long enough, though, you start to get smart to the things around you, you know, and to his credit, he's gotten that quote unquote smart, though. But what blows my mind is the fact that, you know, he doesn't have the common sense to go out to even figure it out himself because yeah, he's, he needs he's a man child and uh, the actual world. And, um, but he is he's so deep into his delusions. It's out of control. It really is. I mean, I mean, Smeckle, you know, I don't, Smeckle can even agree with me on that, though. Yeah, definitely. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, he literally just threw an ocarina through his wall and made holes in his wall, and his grandmother went out and bought him a brand new video game. Yeah. I know, right. And, you know, that the word enabler. Exactly. You know, but the word enabler, you know, goes a long way, you know, for something like that. So, you know, I. But then again, though, you know, in, in some in some stories, though, you know, the you know, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, the baby boy has to get his way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's sure. sad, though. It really is sad, though. You know, I'm not even here to hate on him whatsoever, though. The only reason why I never, ever, ever liked him in the end with all that, though, was because, like, when somebody comes to my streams and has, you know, reaches out if you will you know what i'm saying because like you remember whenever god you know god bless her you know i don't know if she believes in anything but whenever jane was around when i showed her those emails that chance had with the candle mm-hmm. you remember that right yeah 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 and what blows my mind is the fact that someone like him can sit there and get so smart and manipulate and just you know be a narcissist to the point that he can sit there and say, oh, he goes, I may be ugly, but you know what? I've got all this wit. I've got this. I've got that. Because you don't have to be ugly to get any to anybody. Well, I don't even think he thinks that he's ugly, to be honest. Exactly. Well, well, but the worst part is, but the worst part is, though, is the fact that he thinks that, you know, he, like, 
you're, if when your family enables you to be quote unquote great, you know, you go out and work for it though. I mean, you know, I'll tell you one thing though, like let me ask you a question to both y'all real talk. Sure. How bad has this pandemic, you know, affected y'all? Um, much to be honest. I mean, uh, okay, yeah. aside from some inconveniences, it hasn't inconvenience. really affected me. Inconvenience. Was yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. My wife and I, you know, before, you know, we, before we had to move, the <laughs> pandemic basically kind of let us, left us both out of work for a little while, mm-hmm. you know, and we're both fortunate enough, you know, to both have family to go to, you know what I mean? To go live with. Matter of fact, I'm buying, I'm buying my family's house with my wife. You know, that's the, that's the, you know, the, the situation we're in right now. What's sad about this is the fact that, He's already got the world in the palm of his hands, and he's not gonna. He's, and it's gonna. It's gonna leave him the moment his family dissipates. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is the part where I feel sorry for him. I really do. But it's hard to feel sorry for somebody who has the world in the palm of his hands, though, and just shits in the hand that he eats out of. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. Exactly, and. You know, I think if I had, if I would have a bottom line for this though, it's like he's a perfect example of what not to be when you're quote unquote needy or special needy, if you will. Because let me tell you something, I work with special needy kids right there, and those kids are much more appreciated when you teach them how to read and write. Mm. Would you would you find chance to be a special needs person, uh, Juggle? Would you find him to be disabled? Not at all, and I'll tell you why. There's plenty of people out there, you know, who have high IQs, who are disabled. You know, matter of fact, you know, these people who live in, who have wheelchairs, you know, that are, you know, that are attorneys and lawyers, you know, that are taking down billion dollar corporations, you know, for wrongdoings. Matter of fact, people who could take down Amazon, you know, for the way they treat their workers. You know what I mean? Nice of you. I hate to cut you off here, but we have, apparently, this is the real deal here. No way. Um, hello? Hello? No way. Hello? Hi. Oh my I, word! Is that really Tangerine? Hey Chase. Good day. Can, uh, I don't know if this is me, Marty, but uh, you're a bit quiet, Tangerine. Uh, I'm gonna say. Is that me, Marty? Um. Uh. Well, I'm just. I'm just. I, I turned my volume down. I didn't want an echo. It could be me. I'm sorry if it is. Uh, let okay. me just turn it up a bit. I am just uh, astonished. Wow. Um, yeah. I had chance before I appeared. Right, and now tangerine. Well, to what do I owe this uh, pleasure, tangerine? I'm just making sure that you can hear me, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Well, first of all, I'm not very happy about the the call. I'm not, I mean, I'm not a shouting screamer like chances, but I think it's out of order that you've been. Uh, doing this to my technology could have cost me a dollar. Yeah, I was gonna say if if you work in the financial industry, you probably got to get a better VPN. I'm pretty sure that they talk with you about that. Yeah, well, 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 I've got one now, uh, but I didn't realize. Clearly, clearly. People yeah. we're, we're. on me. I think that you out and out disgusting, and it is highly illegal. No. Well, okay. um, you have to prove it. No Tangerine, I've heard some of those calls, and I must say, if you want to talk about things that are disgusting, uh, I mean, we can always play some of those if you really want to go there. But, um, well, I don't elaborate. Right. But I don't think there's anything disgusting in them. Well, I guess we'll just have to find out as time goes on and see how the little prince uh, behaves himself. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's any need to. Um, I don't think. Tyler, leave her headset alone. Let her talk. Tyler, stop that. Yeah, I see backstage there, Tyler. Uh, You know, you're you're playing. (laughs) Dancing with the devil on this one, man. Playing with fire. Let her talk. Cut it out with the uh, HOIC there, the uh, the high orbit. You know, lay off with the beams, Tyler. So now is not the time. Well, you know you like to play your games. No hackers can hit. But well, I've got another um issue as well. I want to 
there's someone in your side chat called Mistress Bella. Oh, yeah. She's been, I've seen that she's saying that she's got some private DMs or something that she's had with uh, Chance, and I'd like to know more about that. Well, I, I mean, <clears throat> that's what I, I found it curious. Uh, she's claiming responsibility for exploding your boyfriend's penis. <laughs> Well, I, I've seen I've seen some of the things that she's actually um, put out there before, and I just think she's a bullshitter. She never makes good on what she says. Hmm. It's clearly, clearly, you know, a troll, especially with that picture. Huh. Well, I can't say I've seen her, but I, I guess I've never really thought about that. I did not say that Marty's lying. Uh, well, don't call me a liar. Let me pull this up here. Uh, you know. Well, don't... no, Bella. Um, I've seen the messages. I know Marty's a liar. But I saw the messages, and I want to know what's going on. Woman to woman, I think you know. If you're going to let me continue with a relationship with someone who's cheating on me, I want to see this evidence. <laughs> Fair request, like it's, uh, but at the same time, I want to, as somebody who trolls chance, I want to see the evidence too. Let's do this. I mean, especially if it's something like exploding his penis. I mean, uh, how do you, uh, what do you, cool. I mean, Tangerine, your boyfriend, uh, if, if they, I, I would feel quite offended if this person did do this to your boyfriend's penis. Uh, I mean, if I were you as a woman, I mean, she's destroying your. Uh, not livelihood, but I guess you're. you're I don't think from, she actually uh, exploded. I don't it. know. The point is, is that she's clearly said that she's yeah. been yeah. messaging him, him, and I wanted to to come and talk about it because she's been very vocal about it tonight. I have been watching, and she's also been very vocal before about how she feels like she can psychologically profile me so i'd like to well, why, why don't you get on the panel uh bella and just let's get this sorted out uh yeah. like here and now. i mean it's friday night let's uh, the night is young uh, i don't want this faster like chances penis um but it's funny because i guess we both kind of have a problem with this claim for albeit very different reasons um you know you are concerned about cyrex's fidelity and I feel like if you have this and this is true and this actually happened, that you're holding out. You know? Yeah. This um, is like five well, days old now. I'll tell you this now. After all the shenanigans that have been going on, um, I'm very, I mean, two minds whether to carry on with the uh, relationship. So, congratulations. You have put doubt in my mind. What ultimately. I can't be doing with you absolutely ruining my life i've done nothing wrong to you all you have to do is step out of the picture well <laughs> that's not i don't think that's something that you should be able to dictate i'm not i'm you know i'm not a stupid person you you haven't got the power to start ringing family members and you know trying to put me in a group home or anything like you did with <laughs> 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 no, no, I can't. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> no, 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 that's fair. I don't think I have that ability. But what's really been getting to me is that I have seen the derogatory comments from uh, from people, both in. Cyrax's side chat and yours and I think it's about time I took some of this power back and that's why I'm up here I want to know especially from Bella when she's saying that she's private messaging him I had no interactions with Cyrax personally at all well hang on a second here because let me let me pull because you clearly said you had Bella I mean what is it is this is this a big troll because I would feel like I would feel like I got trolled by you and big ha 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 ha, but like it, I believed it for all of two seconds. I mean, I, I just don't I don't get it. I want to understand this kind of. Maybe I'm strange here. Yeah, let's go through this message word for word. 
Maybe I misunderstood <clears throat> it. Maybe I'm not as clever as I thought I was. Uh, here, one second here. Let me pull it up. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. One second. Just so we can nip this in the bud here, because uh, it seems like a weird claim. All right. Sure. Wick in the hacker moon. You better be there, girl. You deserve it as much as Billy right now. Well, that part's true. That part is true as far as Wiccan goes. Um, she's not as good as Tyler. Um, but in tandem, they both have their strengths. Um, but she almost pulled a little fuck through the screen. But what I actually did do was far meaner. I'll tell you about in PMs. If you haven't had any interactions with him, and how did you give him a painful trip to the urologist? Is the question. Yeah, and uh, and we can. I'm sure that you are mean to the appropriate people. You're also a hacker as well. Disgusting. Well, uh, hackers gonna hack. Well, they are true. So it's like haters gonna hate. And bullshit is it gonna bullshit? Hmm. I mean, she's promising Wiccan something here that's mind blowing. But what do you mean? Well, she's saying, uh, you know, you deserve it all m most as much as Billy does. You nearly pulled that little fuck through the screen. And now she's just saying, oh, I, sent it, I sent him some porn. Pathetic. Um, hmm. Well, so I guess then she hasn't really uh, caused much friction between you and Sardax. How's his penis doing? Can I ask that or is that too personal? That's not too personal, no. I think it is um, getting better. I've had other things on my mind, though. I've been too busy trying to deal with uh, Fair enough. So, and like I said, I just want to know, uh, I've seen various comments saying that I'm being psychologically profiled or, and when, and oh, how dare this person uh, pretend to be somebody she isn't when my camera accidentally got turned on. It's it's girls like her that make it hard for girls like me. Don't think I didn't see that, Mistress Bella. You conceited twat. Hmm. Is it possible that you know you're you're taking this on her because your relationship is on the fritz? Well, no. I mean, I wouldn't have said anything. It's fair game. You know, we're all on the internet here, but I just want to know what these you know private messages are, and if if there's nothing there, if she was exaggerating. What can you do? I mean, people are going to, they want to get to join in to impress you. I just want to understand that. Um, I just wish she'd come up and actually tell us what, you know, the game is here. I've got, I've got a decision to make about my relationship and if she's been, if he's been responding. Yeah. And I mean, I, I'm dropping some bombs on Cyrax, you know, the woo, the big storm's coming. I'm distracted by, I'm thinking like, this doesn't, this sounds like a, a kind of uh, baloney. Exactly. I'd and be kind of interested to uh, hear the psychological profile myself. Um, I would actually, but I mean, because I'm starting to think I am a mad person for getting involved in all this. Um, well. All I'm saying is put your money where your mouth is. Please show me evidence because... It's not the first time that this is brought to my attention and I've not been able to prove it before. We, I, I just want I just want you to do that for me. Um, you know, you've you've made claims in the past. Uh well, Bella, I've seen you in the chat um saying that you think that you find me to be someone who's got low self-esteem yep. uh, that and, and other, other things. So, you know, don't play innocent now. It, it makes you look even more stupid than you do now. I, I mean, I think Cyrax is really fun. As I said before, I do think that uh, you do make a, a great tandem. Um, although, does he listen to you? Uh, can, can you tame him? 
Well, at this moment in time, I'm really not interested in anybody else but myself. Hmm. Oh, wow. You're causing issues in my life hmm. that I'm not prepared to put up with. Presenting private calls is um, is for, is out of order. It's upsetting. Well, I don't I don't blame you for that, but you know uh, I can understand how it's probably caused some disrepair in your relationship with Cyrax and his his family. But you have to understand my position. I don't know if you do or don't. Um, I don't know if you have considered that. You're probably just so goo goo gaga over chance that you agree with anything that he says. But um, I think he's out of line a lot of the times. Like what happened to that big tough guy earlier tonight? Well, he's, he's just, he's beside himself. He's all bravado, isn't he? He doesn't know what to do. You've got him at the end of his, his rope and he doesn't have the finances to be able to deal with anyone who puts up with shit in the Cyrex. Oh, here, I'll show it. Yeah. I said he puts up, yeah, can you see it? I can see that and that's not, that's not right, Bella. I've seen you claim to be a professional at this. I've it's not a it. profile. If you, don't think I watch, uh, if you don't think I watch, don't watch these, you're sadly mistaken. <clears throat> I've been, you know, we gather myself and Chance watch them to see what's being said. Yeah, it's just so <laughs> bizarre. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I guess like the, I, I, it was, I, I, maybe I've gotten too many, like, hey, Marty, guess what? I got a great, I got, this will really get, get chance. Like I'm going to make a profile that says I am a midget <laughs> and then I'm going to get his, his penis from him. But to claim that you exploded Chance's penis when you haven't had a single interaction with them, is just a bizarre thing that I don't fully grasp myself. No, um, like voodoo. She had a voodoo doll and she, she just flicked the dick on the voodoo doll or something. So, I mean, I don't know how you could do it. I mean, yeah, I, I don't I don't know how it could be done. I'm just trying to think logically. I don't know. Can we get confirmation then once and for all that either one, she was bullshitting and trying to make tall claims, or two, that there are some private messages that I need to know about that I can show and say, no, these weren't made up. These weren't made up by my phone sex. Yeah, maybe, um, Tracy, yep. Yeah. Like, let me tell, let me give you an actual example here. Tonic uh, messaged me and told me that he was planning. Like, he, he he asked, like, was that really Billy the Blind guy? I was like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's like, no way. I'm like, yeah, real guy. And he's like, I was actually thinking about hiring somebody to pretend. What the fuck? They got, they got raped by Cyrax. Get the fuck out. Oh, my God. What an yeah. idiot, dude. What an yeah. idiot. He says, oh, no, I don't, I don't try to make content. Get the fuck out of here, dude. He was going to pay somebody to act like they got raped. Uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Who would even do that? I, the type of guy who would flag everyone. Um, no, I mean, who would even pretend to get, take money to pretend to be <laughs> raped by Cyrex? I mean. Uh, Jesus Christ. Oh shit! Oh shit! Nine seven two. Uh, yeah, still there. I'm like, like, yeah, I'm still here. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I have like very few distracted needs to like. No, no, you're good. You're good. Sorry. Hey, Tinge. Hey, Tinge. Hey, uh, you mind if I add something to uh, to to this little debacle, if you will? No, you can uh, add or ask. Okay. Well, look. There's Marty's way of doing things, all right? And I'm coming from a little bit more of a wholesome way of coming from being a former supporter of him, too. When one of, you know, my supporters reach, correction, when one of my sub, uh, subs comes to me and reaches out to me and says, hey, listen, I got this parasite, if you will, coming after me. <clears throat> yada, 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 this and that. Because th those are her words, not mine. And reaches out to me with a phone number and literally fakes her own death to get away from him. Now, to be to be honest though, do you really want that kind of turmoil of immaturity in your life? That's that's a real question. I'm not. This is not a troll or anything. This is a real question. Um, 
I wasn't aware of a situation where someone has had fixed their own death. Well, I mean, there's there's a lot more that you know he he's very very guilty of though. He does a lot of illegal things that he's that he's not very keen on talking about specifically doxing people i found out about all this though because the like this came from a facebook thing that i that i knew from him because <coughs> the uh facebook the group that I used to be that i that i mod for you know for a bunch of juggalos and hence you know the whole juggalo 972 thing um you know i mod for a lot of juggalo uh the websites too, and he was a part of one of them though and the only reason why I had support for him at the time is because, like, some people from our own, you know, were really, you know, just trashed on him. But I really got to know what kind of a person he really is. Now, bless you. No, sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry. I'm, 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 a, I'm a proper person, though, you know what I mean? But I'm also capably violent at the same time. But, sure. but like I was saying, um, there's so many, many, many things you can do better with your life than waste your time with somebody as immature and who will never grow up and mature like he, like him. Okay? Because the only thing you're going to find yourself for, for one is being around with a manipulative narcissist and somebody who will gaslight himself and you feeling sorry for him before he uses anything. Well, let me tell you, I'm sorry, let go me, ahead. Let me just tell you this. I am well aware that he lies at Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Go and finish your thought. We know this because he, he just said that he, he, you know, he said that he wrote a book and he didn't, and I found that out. I've been willing to give him a chance, and you know, I've got to the point now. <coughs> Uh, having Kendra on this rear, why is this dummy? Cr I, listen, Juggalo 972 is not a dummy, and I definitely uh, uh, like. Is, is there like a? Can you sum up like a point uh, potentially? I'm not trying to be uh, rude here, but like, like no, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. This is this is your. You know, yeah, like I don't know what what um, that, that you can do better than than chance. You can do so much better than that, though, because. The worst part about it is, by the way, fuck you, Jerry. Um, the best way I can really say it right now is, you know, you could do so much better with your life, though, than just exposing your own life to somebody like him who's addicted to the internet like him. You know what I'm saying? There's certain parasites and there's certain people out there, you know, who just should never, ever, ever have that kind of luxury, if you will, especially somebody, you know, who's been handed the world to him on a, on a silver platter. You know what I'm saying? Especially somebody like that, though. Now, I'm not saying that nobody should ever, ever, ever have that kind of shit, you know, because I think everybody, you know, should have, you know, should have the world handed to him. But at the same time, if you look at him and he takes advantage of all that, though, he's going to take advantage of you because he's that cunning. He's very crafty. And the way he looks, the way he talks, and the way he switches is the perfect example of why it's just a waste of time. Because trust me, I wasted my time trying to be a supporter to him, though, because I felt bad for him at one time. But when you learn about you know, how some people are, though, you really go to look at, hey, sometimes ugly is on the inside, too, and on the outside. Well, I mean, I think that's a little uh, superficial. Um, sure. I mean, but that's just from my point of view, though, because, I mean, look, I, I come from a little bit more of a wholesome perspective, if you will, you know. You know, Marnie, you troll, you do what you do. I like you though because you know you said some yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, same uh, here. You know. I mean, I'm just like so. I, I, like, Chance is a is a bad guy, and yeah, one man's opinion. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I mean, I rarely, if ever, get the chance to talk with like Kendrine. Uh, um, is there like a? I'm not trying to be a dick here, but is there like a final? Uh, or even oh. like so, Chance is a bad guy. Don't deal with Chance. Don't waste your time with someone like him. Just don't. Look, look, look what he's already put you through already so, at so far. Right on. Fair enough. Plain and simple. You know what I mean? Fair enough. I mean, I mean, what what else can you really say about something like that? But that's that's a life lesson right there. Still, Skull really productions is. in the house. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I would uh, agree. I would agree with that. No, definitely, I would as well. 
It's it, it really is though, you know, and you know, you seem like a very you know like a wholesome person too, and nobody's perfect. I mean, I honestly, you know, I hope to God that you know he finds you know himself someone special, but you know, you've got to grow in your own you got to grow in your own skin if you're ever going to be able to give somebody else too, you know, the chance for eternity as well. I found that out this Halloween, and trust me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to add something to you. Thank you. I mean, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Lex, you know what? Here, you can you can come back. I'm just going to excuse myself for a second. I'm going to grab another beer. <laughs> grab another beer. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. You guys talk about yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I've already beat out of the alcohol. I've been drinking a, a whiskey and coke all night. Well, since I got back from work. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what the chat. Has. Let me see what the chat has to say real quick. <laughs> Annoying as fuck though. Well, you're not. You're not anything else either. So, <laughs> Jay, you don't think you're nothing special either. Okay. All right, so we got Juggalo. We got Juggalo here. Juggalo, do you remember back? Uh, it was probably in December, November ish time of last year. You went on Scarface. It was he was a Scarface channel. You went on his panel, one of his rare panels, and you were talking with him a lot. You would talk with him a lot about wrestling, and I noticed he would always bullshit his way through things with you. Like, he, oh, yeah. he, you could tell he wasn't know what he was talking about. Like, he would just always agree with you. He would yes man, and then you said something very particular. That stuck out in my head. And I want to know if you remember this. Let me finish this beer. Like, I have one sure. big sip left. I'm going to finish this really fast. Sure, gulp it up. Mm. I've had like three whiskeys. I've had three whiskey and Coke so far, too. Okay. All yeah, yeah. Right on. Oh, nice. What uh, what kind of whiskey you been drinking real fast? Uh, Well, I went with something simple with some Jim Beam, too. When you work in a hospital, sometimes, you know, a good blood thinner is good for drawing blood. Oh, 100%. Cool. So you were talking with Cyrex about wrestling and shit. He was just bullshitting his way through stuff. But I remember mm. in particular you were talking with him about rapping. And you said, well, if you want to get better with rapping, you need to you know, get better with your pronunciation and your wordplay. Yes. You told him to say something like, roll it to the left, roll it to the right. Right. And he goes, oh, man, yeah, I've heard of that before. And then you immediately go, well, I just, you know, I, I, I made it up. And then it's like, that, yes. that just went right there. It just goes to show me. Oh, on, so you have to all, right, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, okay. I, I don't know what just happened. I, I don't know what just happened there. Um, this is call the situation, this Bella situation. So has this been proven to be just a big charade? Uh, it never happened, the interaction. We're just going to get to the bottom of that and close that door, right? And it just never happened, uh, the Mrs. Drisbella interactions, she did not make the penis explode. It was due to probably bug bites and excessive uh, touching. Um, uh, I would agree. It's actually summer penile syndrome. Yeah, there you go. Summer sausage, guys. Uh, so that's that. That door is closed. Any cl questions for Tangerine? Like, wow, it's like Tangerine. How do you feel that your boyfriend has a shroom schlong? Um, I mean, granted, you are not to, you know physically together, but are you hoping or waiting for it to clear up before you go visit him? Are you still willing to visit him with this condition? <laughs> Tangerine, are you there? Um, we may have lost Tangerine momentarily. Oh my god, 972. Look what you did, 972. Talk about your Halloween. Talk about your fucking Halloween there, 972. Oh boy. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Um, I like the guy. I like the guy. I think I do as well. He's a really cool guy. I like Juggalo. Uh, good guy. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Well, without a doubt. Um, Congratulations again to him and his beautiful wife getting married. Tyler and Wyatt. Oh, oh Mark, shit. what am I going to do with you? Oh, well, I don't know. Oh shit! I. That's it, you keep fucking me up by back. Son of a bitch. Uh, Listen, remind me to ban you. I don't want to ban you from the studio, like, like, but you're distracting me back there. You're distracting me. <laughs> you're distra I don't want to hear about your Halloween right now. I'm sorry. I'm so <laughs> no Halloween for you. No, you're gone. You're gone. I can't. It's a uh, 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 <laughs> unbanning. Way to go. Way to go. Why you gotta do him like that? Like, 
Thanks Wait. for thanks for stopping by. Yeah. We got to get back to these calls, man. There's so much to uncover. Hey, Tange. Hey, Schmeckle. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? Good hey, day. You... Bye, Juggalo. Um... Tans <laughs> wants to come up, I think, but, well, I'm, I've asked him to. Yeah. And I don't know. He's, he's been trying to call me and call me and call me. He wants to know what I'm doing here. So I've just said for him to. Um, You're from the UK, right, uh, Tanj? You're I from have. UK, not Australia, right? I can't tell. Well, some people seem to think that I'm from Australia. Oh. Some people have even said that they've visited the UK and I've oh. certainly not got a UK accent. But where are you well, from? Well, whatever you're from, tell Cyrex to piss off. Piss off! To go have a bob, you piss off. <laughs> yeah, tell them that. that oh. Yeah, I, I, don't, I have no clue what y'all are trying to say, but I will tell I them don't that. know either. I'm fucking, I'm on drugs. Right. Yeah. So. Well, piss yeah. off, mate. So, well, uh, your, your boyfriend over your night tried to come on here and, and get me to stop my storm when he was launching his storm. And I know that sounds childish, but, um, you know, he was threatening me. He was saying all sorts of hurtful things. And he tried to come on here and offer me his golden beat. Yeah. Well, he, also, he also offered your, your nudes in the uh, private chat as well. <laughs> I don't yep. think. That's fine. So, yeah. I, I think there's a way that. <coughs> You should be handled. People like you, Marty, should be handled in a certain way. And there's no point in screaming and shouting. Is he coming on you, Marty? I don't know. Uh, no. Oh, sorry. I get. I, I may have taken that the wrong way. Sorry, uh, Tangerine Cat. I'm not one of those little groupies, anyway. So I, I feel like that we should have a discussion about it because you're not going away anytime soon. And I just want to know what it'll take for you to go away. Well, I'll be honest. The beat offer did intrigue me. Did it? It did. Do you know if he can prove that he's made any sort of income from the beats at any time? Uh, what would we do with them? Well, no, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think that there's any proof of that. Um, maybe, maybe a small income. Well, why would I be interested in, in 75 cents? Say that again, sorry. Why would I be interested in 75 cents? Well, you know, from small acorns grow <clears throat> huge acorn uh, oak trees. <laughs> hmm. So, I fair enough, know. fair enough. I mean, you have got a records, Bloodshot Records, yeah? So well, I'm aware yeah. of that, but clearly Bloodshot Records is better than it's ever been. Oh, yeah. Look at the numbers, Tan. She should do some, some research. Just look at the numbers. Well, if you give me the numbers, I'll have a look at them. I'm always looking to invest in 20, 2021 is our year. Let me ask you this. So, here's a question for you. If you're ending it with Chance, then – or let me ask you. Are you plan, You're not planning on seeing him next week? No, I've just asked for a bit of time because I can't bear what you are doing. I can't. That's why I want to know what what is wrong with you. What's why are you like this? I'm only like this because of people like Chance Wilkins. Uh, exactly, I can't set up better myself. It's not in my life, Tangerine Cat. Uh, I felt very uncomfortable with that. Uh, your boyfriend's a monster with a shroom schlong. Yeah, and surely he's done some things that even you have found pretty questionable. Otherwise, you wouldn't be on a break. Otherwise, you wouldn't have turned around on the way to go see him after seeing butthole pictures and penis pictures sent out to other uh, women. Correct. And you transsexuals. Because we're tied to our relationship. I, I wanted to believe. That's why I came up here in the first place, because I thought that I would have some definitive proof. And it seems like, you know, when someone's asked live can they prove anything and they can it would seem to sway me more towards thinking that um chance is the person who's telling the truth 
we can back up everything that has been said on this channel. Yeah, so basically, it seems like, if anything, uh, Mr. Bella has galvanized your relationship. Yes. Jesus Christ. And that... That's the that, that, that part is there. Oh, my God. Well, I'm willing to hear what he has to say, but he, he needs to talk like a human being. Until he can do that, it's just hard. I wish he would. I wish he would come up because if he just spoke to him, maybe something could be resolved. I am always open to that. Well, that's what I wanted for the, you know, months ago. We, Very we funny, Tyler. Very way. funny, Tyler. <laughs> what? Very funny, Tyler. Come on. <laughs> Kicking me off. Very funny. Uh, you wise guy, you. I sure didn't fucking do that. I am a, I am a menace to the panel. <laughs> you're, you're something. Yeah. Uh, my buddy. Uh, we'll just leave it at that. Sorry. You know, good sir. Good sir. Uh, so my, <laughs> funny joke, though. Willing, uh -huh. What would you be willing to accept in to have a truce? You know what I'll tell you? You know what I'll tell you I want? It's yeah. racing, Rick. Mm. Well, I'm afraid mm. no longer. That's had to go back to pay for... Uh, we agreed earlier this evening that that had to go back for lawyer fees. I, I do plan on getting a lawyer because of what you've done. you got to be kidding me. What? Yeah. Wait, what? You can't expect... No. I can't expect to play someone's private calls and get away. I mean, I'm so glad you've done it, really, because you've just dropped yourself right in it. <laughs> well, he's been saying you're going to come after me for, for a year. For well, a year. You can't, you can't yeah. believe, you know, he's, look, you, you baited him into this. You cannot really expect him to hold back when you have been. Just, All right, but that gives him no right to uh, threaten our wives. He threatened to come down here and beat my little ass. And I don't take too kindly. To that. I know your, uh, I know your munchkin boyfriend is like four foot eight, but he's got to learn how to be the bigger person. Yeah, that's fair. Um, well, that's, I'm, yeah. I can tell you he's not four foot eight. He's five foot three. I love you. No. You know what, Tangerine? I challenge that. And I, Except for you to have your boyfriend measure himself with bare feet and no hat with a tape measure, if he can even figure out how to fucking use one on stream to prove that he is 63 inches or taller. I am not buying it. That he can use a tape measure. And yes, I will ask him to do that because I'm sick of it. Yeah, I, I wish you would. It's not, I mean, open your eyes. Schmuckle, I know that you've got a bet with Tonic. Do you think? <laughs> There's any way that you can make a bet with Cyrax, but if he's 63 inches or taller, that you'd be willing to compensate him? Like maybe, maybe, purchase, maybe, like, maybe like purchase an album or like no, take Tans out to, to like him. lunch? No, 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 no. You've got to purchase him if, if he's. She said, no, 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 no. She don't want nothing to do with it, boys. Wow. Um, it's all right. No, no, it's acceptable. You know, she's a faithful lady. I get, that. Midget, I get that. No, um, but you know, uh, Tanj, I, I would accept you to have your little uh, Munchkin boyfriend prove he is sixty three inches or taller without a hat on. Uh, you know, scabs don't cut. Well, I guess we'll count the scabs. Yeah. We'll let them have the scabs, but barefooted, no hat, sixty three no inches or taller, and uh, we'll figure something out. Maybe I'll purchase an album or something. Well. That seems very fair with including the scabs because they could be raised a little, so that's very gentle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that you guys' sense of humor, you know. Yeah, we, good we for you. Uh, a question for Tange. Will she be taking Sally's place and rubbing the aloe vera on Cyrax's head <laughs> to uh, calm the scabs down and the, uh, the the dry skin? No. Uh, will he be rubbing that on his head? Well, why not? Why not? Because... I want him to do this height competition first before he gets rid of the scab. You know what I think, Tangerine, to be perfectly honest with you, is that not, you were just using chance well, as an investment, but also just kind of 
for sex and all this penis isn't working you really have no use for them. look i know you think i'm i'm just trolling you, you know I, I i have got a bit of a sense of humor and i can't help it but I, what did you think i'm using him for sex yeah and now that his penis is gone you don't know what to do with him it has been it has been something of a um a worry it is important to a, a relationship couples who play together stay together after all yeah so hmm. you know, i am worried for for him definitely. How, do, how do i say this in british how do i say this shit in british if cyrax's tallywhacker falls off would you be willing to let cyrax munch on your minge with his fucking goblin teeth <laughs> well of course oh man oh, wow. you're gonna you're you're oh man you might you might get a fungal infection well Dude, any regard for your own health <laughs> you better get like some dental tape or plastic the some saran wrap some fucking foil, get, put this shit down. Yeah, definitely. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> you should always use protection when... Um, we do promote safe sex at Bloodshot Records, but it, it does feel good to go in raw at the same time. So, uh, it has strong pullout game. Uh, that's what we encourage <laughs> at Bloodshot Records. Strong pullout game. I think he fired snakes anyway, so I don't think he is capable. Impregnated. Well, yeah, but yeah, let's hope not. Jesus fucking Christ. But that's not even the issue. I'd be more worried about. Uh, well, I don't know about that. Having a baby or getting chances. Uh, have you considered having? Have you talked about kids with chance at all? No, we're not that at that stage of the relationship. I did mention to Sally that one day. Hmm. I might, like, um, I might, I might, but I think I prefer a dog at this stage. Hmm. I feel that Chance's consumption of microwave foods and cooking those microwave foods have made him sterile throughout the years. So you may have to adopt or uh, just get another dog for him to beat um, for a kid. <laughs> just a thought. Um, I'm not sure, though. The, any of the animals in that house was abused. I burned the fucking house down myself. I'll just leave that at that. Well, have you seen a picture of the dog? Uh, Tyler, do you have that? Uh, yes. God, Tange, if you somehow try to defend Cyrax on this, I have lost all faith in you. Uh, Marty, here, just let me try to switch it really quick. I, I might just have you put in a group home after all, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Give me a minute. You better what walk. did you just say, Marty? What did you just say about a group home? Well, you, you better not push your luck. It sounds like you're not capable of making decisions for yourself. Right. You and Caitlin can share a room. I think you need to go to the soundboard then for being obsessed with Cyrax. Well. Let's not start that. What are your thoughts on Sally, uh, Tan? She's, uh, from the call, I right. heard you seem, seem to have a pretty good relationship with her. Yeah. Oh, shit. Look at that thin-ass fucking dog. Uh, yeah, so there are okay. Yeah, so there are older look pictures. Penis, of look, dog. look, it, it gets big in, at the end, and then it thins out in the middle. It's like his penis. Yeah, it's literally starving itself. You can see his rib cage. I thought. Oh um, and here's the thing with that one: there are older pictures of his dog where uh, where it looks well fed, and now it it's, like, it's, yeah. it's gonna start eating its tail. Yeah, I know the dog isn't that old. Um. Jesus Christ, man. It's like some shit you see on uh, animal caps, like the Humane Society. You know what, Tans, go ahead and enlighten me on how you feel about this picture. Um, I've not seen it before. And I'm and, yeah, what? Yeah, take a look at it. Come on, Tans. Fucking it's right here in front. You've seen it away. now. You've seen it now, Tans. That's what you're going to go live with. Well... I bet the bed bugs eat the dog's food and shit and don't even get food no more. The fucking, like, the critters in the house just get to the food before the dog yeah, can. It's, Fuck. It's pretty sad, really. Um, it's fucked. That's disgusting. Okay, okay, so here's my impression of Cyrax laughing at his uh, nearly dead dog. <laughs> Look at my dog, he's so fucking weird! Hang on one second. Oh, it's not I was trying to be a speckle cat and uh, play a storm sound effect. 
<laughs> everybody just everybody on panel, all four, all four of us, just start snapping your fingers. Nick Rain. I guess I'm not as good at it. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I, I've never been able to snap my fingers. If that snap your fingers you, make rain. <laughs> I'll tell you this, Tyler. It, that is a deal breaker. Absolutely. Oh shit. Okay, he's Marty, right let me tell you right now. Oh. Let me tell all three of you motherfuckers right now. Because of you three, oh, I man. almost took my fucking life a few minutes ago because of your bullshit bullying. It's you need to quit. How? You were screaming at me earlier and telling me that I Because killed you deserve it, you piece of shit. Same thing. Shut up, Marty. I don't deserve shit. Everything you've done to me needs to quit. You need to back off! Enough is enough! You bought me for six fucking years! It's time to grow up! <coughs> Be a man and schmeckle! Shut the fuck up, you We've loser! We've only known you for two years, Cyrax. How is it? Hey, shit? Schmeckle, no one's, no shut one's the known fuck you for up six before years. I shut your mouth for you, you piece of shit! No one's known you for six years, Cyrax. Shut up, Schmeckle! That's what you don't get! Marty's known me longer than you have. No, he has. And I've known him for over three. So trust me. Are you so no shit, you Why are you growling? Loser. Where's the teeth? Where's the teeth? Shut your fucking mouth. Quit growling. And Marty, you need to back off. <laughs> You're a narcissistic psychopath that needs to fuck off. Did you attack Ed? Well, gee. Did you wish that you was Fuck or? off. I wouldn't have a reason to go off. Marty, shut up. I have had enough of your antics. All you do is butt this, butt that. No one gives a fuck. No one cares. Shut up, Schmeckle. No one gives a fuck, Marty. No one gives a fuck what you think. You're a pussy ass coward who runs his fucking mouth like a bitch. It's you time to shut up, grow up, man up, and get off the internet, you fucking coward. If nice. you're going to do something, get off your fat, lazy ass, bring your ass up here, and do something. You I'm tired of you bullying me. Tom bring your fat ass up here, you faggot. Come on. And I've had I'm had right had here. Come on. Stop being a coward. Stop hiding like a bitch. You Come on, Marty. Me. Come on, Marty. Quit running like a coward. What the fuck you happened? Know, you talking about how you can always be my ass? What? You always talk about how you can be my ass, Marty? Bring your fat ass up here and do it. Bring Kid, your ass up here and do it. Why do you keep provoking Stop me? Stop talking Sarah? shit, Marty. Stop talking shit. If you can be my ass, get off your ass and come up here and do it. Why Stop do you hiding provoking? behind the camera like a bitch. Bring your ass up here. Why Come do you on. Keep you got no, you got my address. Stop <laughs> making excuses. You're the only there. one who makes threats, Cyrex. No one makes threats hey, towards Shrekle, anyone except you. Why don't you shut the fuck up? Why don't you come up here, Cyrex? Why don't you come up here and you want to do something? Up. Don't involve you. Shut up before this I take your bitch. You, bitch. Shut, shut up. up before I take your bitch, Cyrex. It's only right around the corner. I'm single now. Don't involve you. This don't involve you. You involved me before. Go somewhere else. Why are you hey, afraid Marty. to rap battle me, Cyrex? Because hey, you know you'll lose. Marty, oh my god! That you can be my ass. Let's rap hey, battle right you now. Know. Shut up, Schmeckle. Marty, you claim you can be my ass, right? Watch, go up here and do something, then coward. Get off your fat fucking Sorry, lazy like Ed ass. Fucks you up, man. Get off your fat fucking lazy ass. Get up here and do something. Do something, you fucking coward. You hide behind your camera like a bitch. You hide like a coward because that's what you are. You a coward ass bitch. Dude, there's something you wrong, man. No, you act like you're a badass, you're but really you ain't shit except the pussy ass little faggot that needs his goddamn teeth knocked out his fucking throat. Why do you keep saying faggot when your brother was a faggot? And shoved. Dude, Schmeckel. You need you your raped the blind mouth, kids, Cyrex. What's wrong hey, with Shrek, you? Hey, Shrek, why don't you shut your fucking mouth? Why don't you not rape blind kids, Cyrex? 
Why don't you quit making death hey, threats? Snaggle, You're the only one who threatens to fight people. Mari never threatens to fight you. Hey, why don't you quit sucking Mari's dick, you little bitch? Why don't you quit, quit sucking, sucking Bill's dick, dick and Ed's dick, dick and Sally's You're dick? You're a shrink to him, dude. When, why don't you quit sucking Bradley's dick with like 8, 17 years old yourself? just had a pile? What are you going to think for yourself, you fucking fag? Stop being a fucking robot. Why don't you fight Stop for yourself? Stop being Mari's little bitch ass dog. Stop being his fucking wow. lap dog, you overgrown dumbass. Quit, quit being, hey, quit being his quit little being, lap dog. Quit being his little lap dog. You quit being Bratley's thing. lap dog. Quit being yeah, Bratley's lap dog. Yeah, you're his lap dog, you little quit fucking Quit being lap dog. Now, Marty. Quit being Bratley's lap dog. Let me tell you right dog. now. There ain't no negotiating. This is what's going to happen. Yeah, fuck your beats. You're going to leave me alone. You're going to bat the fuck off you and go fuck yourself and say no. Yeah. You're going to back off. You're going to leave me the fuck alone. And you're going to do this shit. Time. Otherwise, no, otherwise, I have your address. You forget that, Mark. Do it. I no, know. trust me when I say. Do it. No, do trust it. me when I say. Do it. If you do not stop, I will come up to your fucking house. Sweat your fucking throat open, rip your head off wow. your body. Are you gonna walk to Marty's like you were gonna walk to Kansas trophy. when you choke Sally out? Well, I promise you, I will do the same thing to you. So don't tell. You're gonna walk up here, Cyrex, like you were gonna yeah, walk right to I will. Kansas in the winter time, you fucking moron. You ask me if I give a fuck. I don't get your license, you know and then I'll worry. Like, Once you get your driver's license, new. then I'll Shrek, worry. Let me right. tell you something, bro. Let me tell you something, dude. You're not in my fucking shoes. You don't know what I it's like to be put shoes. through. Listen, dude, kids you shoes. don't know what it's like to be put through. What this fucking monster has you, put me through for the last right. six you years. Six years this man has bullied me. Enough is time. enough, Marty. Grow up or you're getting your neck fucking sweat and you're playing. That's oh, a threat. Gosh. That's a threat. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yo, so here's. Uh, so here's my theory, man. I'm not sure if Sally and Ed are in danger, but it seems like Ed tried to defend himself, punch Cyrax in the fucking face, and now he's losing a few teeth. Yeah, you know, up, dude, yeah. that's like, like honestly, um, this is this is this is fucked up. Um, I, however, you got to consider he's constantly accusing me of murdering somebody that I really cared about. On a daily well, guess what? Now I'm positive that he murdered Sally after listening to the phone call. Um, no I doubt. Oh shit, Tanger is still here. Yeah, I'm a bit yeah. upset. We just got Marty on the screen right now. I I mean this is go. Oh my god. Tangerine, how are you gonna deal with that? Like honestly, I mean uh, uh, do you have uh like I'm not trying to no, be funny, okay. but do you have any like no. background in like Krab Maga or like karate <laughs> or any self defense or bear spray, a taser? Uh do you know how to use any type of, like you able to defend yourself? Yeah, I can defend myself. With the Jesus camera. Christ. There's no way I'm going into that. <laughs> if, yeah, if, there's, if there's blood, you know, that's it. It's, it's gone too far. Yeah, I would agree. Um... Like, Jesus Christ. You're going to have to deal with that. I mean, as you know, uh, Marty has known Cyrex supposedly, finger quotes, six years. So, I mean, I don't see any end in this. Uh... I just thought so... when I told him to come on, that, you know, for once and for all, we could have a, a civilized discussion. I'll be back in a bit. Started out. Mm. So, you know, I don't know how many times he uh, attacks his grandma. I mean, holy, yeah. did he have blood like, on his shirt? Like, uh, this is. Dude, yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah, so I, uh, I was actually going to bring that up. This is just so fucking freaky, man, because he has blood running down the bottom of his fucking chin and shit. Dude, uh, you know, like, dude yeah. I am definitely concerned that probably Ed tried to defend himself against Cyrax because I'm fucking... I don't know. This, it, and, and Cyrax's hair was, like, all floofed up. You've seen that, right, Marty? You've seen how his hair looked. Yeah, I, I just... I yeah. was in shock. Um... You know, I was just thinking back to like the the guy earlier, and going on like an hour and a half long thing threatening me. Talk like there's I can I can understand like you know talking to me and threatening me. There's one thing I don't like it, and if if you guys care about Sardax, this is what you have to convey to him because I feel provoked. I, I do. You know, I feel that he takes it too far, and uh, I don't know how to stop this from continuing to go on. Well, that's why. Oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, so 
Oh, fuck. What the hell did this guy say again? I forgot who said it. But somebody said that they think that Sally and Ed both left the house to let Cyrex calm down. Because, you know, Sally, she, uh, uh, she would have pulled the internet right away, you know? She did. She, 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 she's probably, I don't Is know. It? I'm glad that, like, somebody pulled the internet. Right? Know there's, like, signs of life in the household. No, no. I, yeah, I can only understand. But, you know, if she would have pulled the internet, his screen would have froze. But it, it seems like that he left willingly. Um. Yeah, it was definitely interesting. I'm not sure. I mean, if you guys want to, I don't I, condone I, it. But yeah, I got a number of tans. Uh, did you hear anything about like what, what's up with his teeth? Like, uh, it's quite a uh, minds are inquiring minds are wondering what's going there on. There are many teeth. possibilities. You know what? You know what? Noel comes in. Hey, Noel, it's nice to see you. Oh shit, Noel slideshow. Hey, buddy, what's up, Noel? Uh, yeah, what, what's going on what, with his fucking teeth, brother? I think he's exhaling. Yeah, yeah, dude. I just so Chance was listening to this live stream. Forget mm -hmm. Sally was talking down upon him. Just lost his shit. Right, guys. I'm oh, gonna get. Yeah, well, I'm shit. gonna give him a call. I'm concerned. Tangerine, you go get a hold of Cyrax if you want. That's your decision. That's um, what I would. Yeah, someone yeah. just sent me a picture I, dude, of it. You need to figure man. out what the fuck happened. Can you me, Michael Cat? Like, it's not good, man. That's not good, dude. It's, it's... Somebody just sent me a picture of this shit, man. And yeah, he's his. They look, they look like kind of bloody. Yeah, but like I also found it funny how he said that he was gonna kick your goddamn teeth down your throat when he's the one that's missing teeth. <laughs> yeah, it looks like so, someone already tried to do that to him. But who do you think did that to him? Do you think it was Ed or Sally? Like which one of them tried to yeah, defend It had to have been Ed, man. I don't think Sally. You know, she's a sixty-nine-year-old woman. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I am actually really concerned. You know, I'm really concerned about the situation. I'm not sure what the fuck Chance as, did. As am I. Um. He claimed to have tried to have taken his own life. Do you think that yeah. he may have oh caused it? Oh, man. Yeah. He just fucking murdered Sally and Ed and just attempted to take his life in the process. I don't, I'm I, that I don't know, man. That's, that's, that's wild. Right. I'm going to go and contact him. All right, Tangerine. Well, Please. good luck. I uh, um, Thank you for... I'm a bit beside myself, uh... I don't know. This... That's a bit fucked, man. Jeez, I'm sitting yeah, here I drinking and like, shit. Like, if anyone thinks that, like, I'm delighting in this, like, no. No, yeah, I'm sitting here drinking. Like, that's kind of fucked. Yeah, I got even people messaging me and shit. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Uh, again, I wonder oh, what's right. going on with that. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just honestly curious. Yeah, really? <laughs> I mean. I mean, fuck? I've seen shit happen like this all the time, and I am almost guarantee you that Sally and I were both in danger, and they flipped the house. I hope I don't know, man. But Sarks is like four foot eight, and then we just easily just pin. Kind of makes me want to put on like the police scanner, you know, Akron police scanner and shit. <laughs> oh yeah, oh my god, yes, uh, that shit actually works. Uh, I remember when uh, when somebody called the cops on Cyrax, I think for the same incident, it actually worked. Yeah, there's a there's an online police scanner. If you just type in actually online police scanner, it comes on something radio. You click that, you can type in a zip code, and then it gives you a listing of uh, all the. Uh, closest uh police scanners for that zip code yeah well well it seems like cyrax uh delivered his own storm tonight man yeah the storm man, is definitely upon us guys <clears throat> get the shutters closed get the cellar fucking uh you know tied down uh your lawn oh, equipment. Cover when there's no windows yeah get the lawn equipment tied down patio furniture the fucking storm is blowing i mean Marty, not even over are. We can like analyze Cyrax's face. It seemed like he was missing missing both of his front teeth. It looks and, like, it was, like there was pink though. It was more pink. There was some pink. Oh in yeah, there. Uh, that was like, his fucking gum was like hanging down low. Not sure if you've seen that. His gum was fucked up. Hmm. I didn't see it uh, in gross detail. Um, I think he probably went to attack Sally. Uh, uh. Well, he's gone, Fart. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. yeah, fucking de deal with it. You know? What can you, you do? Know, I don't know what the fuck happened here. I really don't. Um, you know, I... He's fucking losing it, dude. I would say this is his worst freak out yet. I thought nothing would top it. This is definitely his worst. I mean, it's pretty good. It's 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 definitely up there, man. I don't know if it, I'd say it's his worst, Tyler, but Are it's you definitely sure? up. It's definitely up there, man. Oh, well, the reason he's, why I do call it the worst is because he's missing both of his teeth. There's oh yeah, yeah, definitely chin, on that. Yeah, screaming sure. bloody murder. 
I guarantee you Sally and Ed are both not home right now. And I mean, you know, yeah, like, gonna, imagine making your grandmother leave the house at 2.57 in the morning. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Uh, as, as everybody knows me, I love the actual Cyrax growl when he gets pissed. But that one yeah. was actually a little unsettling, to be honest. It was a little unsettling. I'm not going to lie. I love the growl when he does it. But I, I'm not going to lie. It was very unsettling. Uh, I even asked him, why is he growling? Like, I, I, it was, I didn't like it. I, I didn't like either. It. Honestly, I came and you could hear me. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, no, I, I hate Cyrax little, uh... just as much as you guys do. You know, I think we're equal with our hatred. Probably more. Yeah, I think you hate him a little bit more. But I think we have the right to be a little concerned about what he's done. I mean, let's be 100% real here, Marty, a man to man. I mean, he's, he's claiming he knows you over six years. I mean, is this even possible? Have you been fucking with this guy for over six years? All I kept asking him was, like, what do I have to do to prevent this from continuing to occur? All right, so you've been bullying him since, like, 2015 to 14, I guess. Apparently. Like, according to him, yeah. Um, That's what I'm saying, though. You haven't known him that long, right? Like, we found him around the same time. I agree. This is serious. Yeah, I mean, I... Saying that, yeah, there's, there's no laughing matter, really. Um, I, I don't know. Up, I got, I got no, no, it is a bit, it is a bit concerning. We got left in a fucking losing it, right? You know, it's it's a shame that he 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 wouldn't listen though, because I wanted to find out where Sally and Ed were. I'm not sure if like a welfare check is in order or. Huh? I, mean, I guess Todd made one. Oh, well, fair enough. Well, fair enough. Um, yeah, I mean, it, like again, you know, no one, nobody up here whatsoever is fucking laughing at the situation. It's a bit. Uh, I, I agree with Tyler. Those the the, the teeth. The, that teeth. Can you send me the picture, Smackle Cat? I haven't. Um, I'm sorry. Can you send me the picture of the teeth? Oh uh, yeah, ac- yeah. Actually, I can't. Give me one second. Jesus Christ! I sure can, Marty. It's got dark and graphic. Um. Yeah. yeah. Um, I should probably make a new uh, side channel. Let me figure out how to uh, save this on my fucking computer. <laughs> you live with kids, maybe we're apparently you watch there. It's nice to have some levity in these trying times, to be honest. It's a nice consolation. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. I just love speechless. Right? Um, Obviously, you know, I don't condone it for obvious reasons, but if you're going to call the cops, so be it. Um, to Tadri, yeah. I mean, you know, I guess, I, I mean, I guess that's probably uh, the responsible thing to do. Hmm. Um, but there's still front teeth. Okay. Well, that's, <clears throat> that's, that's good. Um, he still got his teeth. Then, like, okay, yeah. No, uh, so, okay, yeah. So he has two front teeth, but he has that one tooth that's like hanging in the back, like re- like right behind his two front teeth, and grown in the middle of his fucking mouth. Uh, that that's what it was. That, that's the one tooth he had left in the front. All right, here we go. Let's see here. I mean, this guy. He's just uh, he's out of control. Um, hundred percent. Is he live? No. I, I mean, I'm not sure he's alive. Hopefully, Tangerine's like talking to him. Uh, yeah. Know. So okay, so I'm looking at it. I right, think. Yeah. I think it just oh, yeah. looks like, oh man, he looks like he's crying and whatnot. You know. It's... Wait, he's live? No, I just saw a picture. Oh, okay. of him, you know. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, all the teeth are intact. All right, maybe I wasn't paying attention. You know, if yeah, all right, yeah, we'll just look yeah, like they're it. intact, but there's another oh, one. Well, Here's well, another one. Like covered in blood to make it seem. I'm not like sure if that's the one you're looking at because I'm sending you it, but yeah, there's another one. Yeah, like when you say like he almost killed himself, and then I thought that his two front teeth were gone. 
Um, yeah. No, I don't know. This is still there. In the face. Well, you know, uh, considering this has happened, you know, it is. Uh, I think I'm gonna end it. Cyrex, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's understandable. Yeah. Um, I, I all I ask you is, what's it gonna take for you to stop saying a simple name or accusing me of shit? I don't know what that's gonna take. Yeah. I don't know what that's going to take. Hmm. Um, but but this is... I, I don't know how what's going to get through your head to, to cut this shit out. Um, but, uh, yeah, well, there you go. Um, um, yeah. Hmm. Not very good. Well, for, well, for the most part... I can't say the stream was was great in my opinion. No, yeah, I think I'm gonna kind of. It's I'm I'm in this shit. It's pretty fucking dark. I, you know, All right. I, I think hopefully both of us have learned a lesson, but only time will tell. Uh, indeed. indeed. Yeah, this is this is this is you know enough's enough. I would say almost. Um. Yeah. Good night, guys. Yeah, fairly well. Good night.